Bones even beating up Leo, who you'd think is, you know, with with guard point and DP is really favored in that matchup, but they were not getting anything done anti air wise. It was tough to see. I think you definitely yeah. have to look out and fight her in the air more often, which uh which can be a real struggle, you know, it's the air neutral is not something people are super used to. Millie is also really good against characters with DPs. Anyway, it looks like we're getting into the game. And speaking of soul, we have Atomic Red on soul here. Versus one, uh, It's Mink on Nagaroyuki. I, I predict that uh, Nago forces Soul immediately to the corner, and that if Soul can survive that onslaught and get Nago to level three blood, uh, you know he can open up the old Frederick damage, the old the old uh, flame of corruption damage, and really shred Nago on high blood. Yeah, now that Nago has that um, health reduction when he gets to high blood, Soul really starts to rip into him. And yeah. if there's anyone you don't want to get hit by in this game, it's Soul. <laughs> And I thought people were like, it's only here. mids. What do you what do you mean you get hit by soul? Like they're scary mids. I don't know. Plus three close yeah. slash. Like Y'all get plus frames on your close slash? Wow, a bit of patience there before the Beyblade. Yeah, I know. I I'm from uh you know, two two uh highly aggressive characters like this, you can't expect them to be patient for long. Wow. That was a crazy throw there. Yeah. yeah. Very, but even the, the pressure pours on from Atomic Red. Woo! These throws are just getting everything. We saw that... another one, I think. <laughs> oh, and oh, the wow, early, early pop, pop, and that's going to be the round here. Yeah. Soul can really, really punish that pop because I he has a pretty easy 100 to 0 with it because he's Soul. <laughs> and its mink is just spending a lot of blood right off the bat. Already at one bar after just a few seconds of gameplay. Getting that command throw means they get to start their pressure here, but it looks like they're a little scared of the DP and gets thrown out of that. A yeah, good check on the Fukio. It's tough, you know, it's like you want to spend blood to force and uh, keep a player in the corner, but, you know, if you're not getting too much down with your blood, you gotta look out for that return on investment, you know? Look at that already. Yeah, went for the command grab, misses it, and pops again. No punish, though? Ooh, and does not get to recover in time, and does not get that burst off, and a very strong start here from Atomic Red. And its mink needs to manage their blood a little bit better here. It's definitely a type of Nago player who really likes to go crazy with it, and we see, like, I mean, mink is clearly aware of what they want out of it. They they went for that blood-sucking universe, but if you can't get it, you just die. It's a... Uh, you know, it, it, it turns uh, Nago from the one-shot character into the one who is one-shotted. <laughs> yeah, and there, you do have to take risks like that, but It's Mink likes taking those risks maybe a little too much here. Yeah, Going or back at least the uh, game they are not here. paying off the way you'd hope. Well, let's see if they can recover. What's the uh, what's the round start? 5k is definitely some heat in this and many matchups. Probably Ooh, every matchup. There. Yeah, just yeah. trying to bait out something here. And getting their hit. Nice jump. Going for that command grab again. Atomic Red is ready for it. Ooh, nice use of that yeah, 5k. The 5K coming out. Oh, but look at that blood already climbing. Gonna have to yeah, use those sword normals to reduce that because you are not gonna be able to get in with the blood sucking universe. Soul has oh, such a my... hard time approaching through that, though. Really, their only option is the Night Raid Vortex, but Nago can just wait that out. And there's that command grab whiffing again, and Mink is going to pop. And this is dead. Yeah. Good job on Atomic Red there, Neo, not running in, keeping an eye on the blood, and not getting uh, tagged by the pop. Yeah, really good patience there, and just really good awareness of knowing the blood meter from Atomic Red there. Nice 2k, and the throw. This soul just pressures crazy. Yeah, just really checking the Nago offense, you know, not letting them get away with anything. Nice reset there. Let's go for Tyrant Rapes, no hard knockdown. Probably, this is probably it here. Burst baited, yeah. Oh no. Really well played from uh, Red there. Yeah, solid stuff, bit of a checkmate scenario. What is Soul? Soul 2P is six frames? I have no idea. I, I think just... he has mashes at three. Oh no, it's three, four, and five. It's three frame on 5k, it's four frame standing punch, and it's yeah. uh, five frame crouching punch. Soul has yep, a that's couple right. of barre options. Yeah, there's two characters in this. Okay, two char characters in this game with an always accessible three frame, and uh, 
it's it's hard to deal with. Leo has a three frame button, but he can only have it in back turn, so it's not a great. It's not really a mash option. <laughs> what is, is it? Is it five P? It is back turn P, I believe. That's great. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, back turn P is like the best six P in the game. You cannot jump it back turn Leo. <laughs> Here we get to see the we knock see more pressure. traditional knock oh. pressure, but back throw it. Thrown, popping again. There, it's been every round but one that Mink has popped. It's tough, and I mean, even if it works, if you get a giant combo and still pop, it's like you might damage yourself as much as you damage the opponent. Oh, nice call out on the gun flame there. Getting that clone forward, but the 2H missing means that Red gets to start his pressure. No combo there, probably just wanting to save blood. Ooh, jump in, bit ambiguous. Probably crossed up. And Mink with the meter here, but gets hit anyway. And not blocking low. And this could be dead here. Not quite. It I is Nago. And only in level two uh, blood, so, you know, not completely falling to pieces. And Mink with However, the meter. Whoever Mink really here. has to concentrate here, they're going to be in loser's bracket very early on. But there we go, get the blood stuck in the round. Hey. But the Wasps are you Yeah, that doesn't clean head. Oh, sour spots. Oh, and a drop there. Mink has to be careful here not to overdo it with this pressure and pop. This would be a heartbreaking loss here. And the 6P burst baited. Really, really good patience from Red there. Just waiting it out. Waiting for Mink to make a mistake. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, Mink, we saw them really turn on the, the traditional Nago pressure there at the end. But definitely, it was... Mink's game to lose there, going into Blood Rage soft, Blood Rage soft against a character like Soul Bad Guy who can basically kill you even if you Blood Rage at full health. Yeah, and we definitely got to see Red take advantage of that there. And yeah, Mink almost had it, but an unfortunate drop at the end. It's those always feel the worst when you just get the when you get them down finally, and then you drop it. It is funny, like, I, I do my best not to, um, not to care about Guilty Gear as competition so much. You know, I know I'm never going to be one of the best, because I like to focus on things like TOing, and I like to play around on different characters, but, uh, even so, when I go into bracket, I still get the shakes so bad, it's, it, it's like, it's funny to me how, uh, how stressed out I get. I do, I do it, like, when I'm in actual like in-person brackets i have meditation techniques that i've like worked on just to have down so i can calm down that rules i know a lot of people mention breathing but i don't think a lot of people have uh structure so much you know they're they're just making sure to get air but they're not uh doing any particular focused breathing or mindfulness exercises so it is it's really interesting to me when someone has worked out uh specific <laughs> things to to treat their uh, bracket anxiety yeah, no, I I'm a, I go, do the go to character select very often. <laughs> Even when I win, I just go back and I just breathe and close my eyes and just sit there for a minute. And that it helps. Rules. <laughs> yeah, like people don't take enough care of their mental state and get like uh you know, they get they get bummed out about it, but and, and I know we try to rush people along through bracket in online and offline events, but you know, please take take your time between matches here. Get a Get a little sip of cold water, chill out a little bit before you head back in. <laughs> the odds of you being the last person back are so low, just with all the people here, that you can take really take your time. <laughs> well, I mean, don't don't tell them that. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, to them. don't take your time. Rush. Hurry up. <laughs> I got places to be. Get off my lawn. Next match, it looks like it's going to be Leather Muncher versus Saint here. But let's see how everyone else has been doing. We got a couple of Fausts out here. Shout out Lurry, shout out Lapras. Although I, La Lapras has been playing more chip, so I don't know if it's going to come out. But oh no, that would be the worst. We That's have the just... rare pleasure of seeing an Axel and a Kai out here. Let's rock, baby. This is a matchup I've seen a couple times. Uh, it's something where Kai really struggles to get it, you know, much of an offense started. He does have the benefit of, you know, his long-range fireballs that he can engage uh, from full string pretty effectively against Axel. But as far as getting in, uh, it can be a real pain, like like everyone else has against Axel. I just want to comment how 
good Kai's 6P is. Did you see how far away that hit? That was kind of ridiculous. You don't, you don't like the left elbow, the forbidden one? Dude, it's so good. It it just beats so many moves. Also, this, this Kai pressure is crazy. Yeah, once he gets in, he does not let go. The Kai tap dust is another unblockable. Because <laughs> you're so used to 5k, like the meaty 5k. Oh, word? Just box dire, Kai. That, that's a timing a fair amount of people have down because that's such a powerful pressure tool from Kai. Yeah, it's a it's a nice timing to learn. I do not have that one down, but <laughs> the only ones I've got are I can do Ram Rekka sometimes, and I can do Nago a lot of the time. <laughs> that's the one every, everybody has knows Nago. Nago. <laughs> That's tough. I'll say Leather Muncher even looking a bit uh, impatient in this matchup. I know a lot of people would like to play this from a further range. They're electing to run in, and it is uh, paying dividends. Yeah, probably just not wanting to have to interact with Kai's solid neutral. <laughs> Anything. Just preferring not to interact <laughs> just, with Kai. Yeah, just not seeing Kai. But when you there get here, this is rough. Yeah, uh, yeah, same nice bit, just looking out for the low there and, and very ready to jump over. Yeah, stopping and waiting in the corner really is the Kai classic. Like, I'll chill out and then I have good buttons, so I'll react to what my opponent is doing. Catching that back dash there and starting the pressure, but the Axel 5 frame 2k, that low profiles, is definitely something. And now let's see a nasty uh, one here. vision combo. He's got to get a hit first, but yeah, there's the hit. Just sending him full screen, going back to zoning here. And that close slash puts in so much work. Just using the meter for pressure resets here. here. Ooh, nice jump of the stun dipper, but getting the RC anyway. And there's that those new Axel combos. I think that's new. I don't know enough about Axel. Oh my god, the second gold burst this second round. Gold burst. But the JH from Axel. Axel has a lot of really good moves. You always kind of forget about it until you see them. I don't. I think about that every day. I wake well, up. You play Faust. About that. That's your fault. <laughs> I don't want to say bad things about Axel players. They they do have a hard <laughs> time sometimes. But the Axel Faust matchup, it's tough. It's a little tough for the Faust player. It's uh, it's one of the matchups of all you time. You feel you feel bad for Axel players, and then or, no, you don't feel bad for Axel players, and you see him play against Ram, and you're like, oh, that's why this character's not not up there. I get it. <laughs> very few checks on the food jar. I know that can be difficult. You know, uh, very character dependent on how you want to deal with that. I know a lot of people aren't really confident in their six P dealing with food draw. Yeah, and Axel does not have a fast enough 5P. I don't know if his 5K hits. I'm sure it does, but that is hard to react to. But Stun Dipper yeah, RC. <gasps> nice moving out of the corner there, getting the counter hit or the punish. And this combo should be dead. Yeah. Bomber loops. Yeah, it's not, like Saint is really doing a lot of damage trying to get in, but then Leather Muncher is just opening them up and getting a you know big counter hit combo such as this and really getting the damage off. Which is every the opposite. Like normally the Axel player it pokes somebody to death on the way in. <laughs> well, every time uh, Leather Muncher gets a combo here, Saint just has to go back and work so much harder to get in. And true, I mean the the defensive mechan Oh wow, I can't believe that worked. Uh, the defensive the mechanics meter. aren't equal, right? Like, you, you uh, burst or get bursted against a zoner, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm full screen again. Yeah, this is a tough one. Yeah, Leather Muncher had full meter there. Saint was probably scared of the DP. I know I would have been. <laughs> Who is it? And Leather Muncher going up 2-0. Yeah, can we see signs of life from the Kai community? I've been playing a bit of uh, Kai lately myself. He uh, he's fun. I I understand some of the complaints I've heard from the Kai players now, but like I just I I feel so much more privileged in my buttons uh, as compared to Faust. <laughs> he's definitely gotten a lot better since the game released. Oh, Rainwater is such a good move. Oh my god. <laughs> People will not tell you this, but Rainwater, good. Oh, wow, Fujar are hitting at the very tippy toes there. Yeah, that has such a huge hitbox. You really, on it's, top. 
It's just such a good anti-air too. Yeah, it's nutty. Fujirak as an anti-air is uh, not underrated. I think it's rated, but when it hits, I'm always surprised. It just controls so much space. Oh my god, the oh. just block into a punish here. And getting the Great charge done at pressure. There's the nice block on the back dash, or the BRC instant overhead attempt. Now That's Leather Muncher gets to take the out of the corner from Leather. But that 2k and the charge stun is pressure into the tap dust RC. The it's an unblockable. It's yeah. nothing you can do about it. If you're in orange hell, that the 5d is hitting. That's why it's orange. <laughs> you gotta use your uh, blitz attack. <laughs> blitz, yeah, I hit the blitz IK. Oof. I get himself in the corner for his troubles. Gonna make use really of nice use of this air move. Yeah, really nice yeah. use of this air movement here from Saint, but Leather Muncher. Oh, I'm not oh. closing it out. And Saint has a chance to bring it back here with the meter, but gets caught by the JS trying to stun Dipper. It hits and me too, man. Leather Muncher's on set set point here. Ooh, and not how you not how you want to open up set point, getting uh, reduced to half health in a jiffy. That 2H is just covers so much screen space. And look at the chip damage on Renson there. It's yeah, looking at, at like that a hit. deficit is so grim. You know, like thinking about all the work and all the damage it might take to get in on Axel and looking at the resources you have available to do it. But Kai it does do a lot of damage, so he's got he's a shot. He's one bar here. You can get it going. Ooh, risky. Oh, Goes nice. The, uh, nice run up charge stun edge. I want to see Dragon install. That's what I think. <laughs> you think it's time? Yeah. Oh, the burst baited. No dragon install for us. Last fight. Good job, Leather Muncher. I think I, I don't think we've had an Axel in top eight before. Definitely a matchup you got to watch out for. There's uh, not a huge amount of Axel players, but when they show up, they usually get real deep in the bracket. Yeah, there's like there's not a ton, but they're good. The ones that are out there. Mm. So uh, I, I was, you know, informed that one of the patterns I use when casting is that I say scary too much. I'll be like, oh, that's scary pressure put back in a scary situation with the scary pressure. So I've just got a list of synonyms open. <laughs> We're going to mix it up. We'll just we'll see how it goes. We're just going to slot a few in. Beautiful. <laughs> but this is calling. This is good to your stride. Half the stuff in this game is terrifying. The sinister, eerie. uh <laughs> We're going into the next game here. Squidge Luke versus Sneed Chungus. And we've Sneed got a Chungus. Sin. Sin yeah, is Chungus a very solid Sin player, as well as a Kai player, I think. They all are. Every single Sin player started on Kai and switched to Sin. They were just waiting for the boy. I think they, I think they just, every single Sin player is just a Kizzy K fan. <laughs> yeah, Squidge Luke certainly uh, a pretty scary happy gas player and and getting better all the time they've definitely been more intimidating every time i see them Ooh, doesn't get the Ooh, ball break there not... sour hit i'm sure that was intentional but i wonder why no nah, no way like to give up that damage i doubt it i would be interested yeah. to see though like if they just tried to ball out and go for the one frame yeah i don't know though because i don't I don't think I don't think Sneed Chungus messes that up very often. So you think you think you'd have to be way off to really get the? I don't know how hard it is. I tried sin once ever, <laughs> but <laughs> it's one frame. I don't know. I feel like yeah. I feel oh. like that was probably on purpose, but I don't know. We'll see that you know as uh, sin you know commonly referred to as bottom one or bottom two character in the game for you know some of the issues regarding. Uh, a lack of threat is pressure or buttons. Still, that can pressure and that overhead can open up anybody, even Squidge Luke. That overhead is disgusting. <laughs> like, it's actually disgusting. Oh, it's nice too F-withable, I think. But I agree. Like, it, it's like, a uh, Is that gonna kill? Ooh, Sin damage. Yeah, there's one thing Sin is not missing out on, it's damage. It's like Fujin, right? Like, in theory, everything Anji do is reactable and you can pick the right option, but... You know, are you ready for it is the issue. <laughs> and the answer is no, which is why I'm mashing 2k all the time against Sin, because it'll anti-air the overhead. 
Faust is such a weird character. Are you going to try Bedman when he releases? Yeah, I, 100%. I am looking forward to it. I think, I think it's a it's a Faust person to like Faust and Bedman. They're the only uh, unique archetype characters. Yeah. I don't know. I'm excited to see what his moves are because uh, my friend plays a lot of Bedman and Exerd. Mm. So I know pretty much what he does in that game, but I want to see what he does here. Oh man, Cena here on one hit and gets opened up by the double overhead. Tough yeah, stuff. That Happy Chaos J2K is so hard to deal with. My uh, my intuition with Bedman, Bedman, uh, is that he's gonna have inconsistent. Oh my God, burst into the corner. That's so tough. Uh, he's gonna have in, in, inconsistent access to his mechanics the same way Faust does, right? Because it's like you have to prey on items to get you know access to the things you want. Oh wow. Oh, nice burst bait. Probably kills with Deus Ex, right? Nope, doesn't go for it. Still has two yeah, bars. I think that was and a little bit of a drop there. But gets opened up trying to dash block. And Squid just like coming out swinging in game two. I like that. I think Squid stabilized, sort of oh, adapted think... quickly and, and, you know, played it a bit more of a range than the uh, first match there. Okay. I thought it kicked me out for a second. You never know with the <laughs> strive lobbies. Yeah, to everybody out there, please, you know, uh, do your best to play in private rooms. We all know that the, the strive in infrastructure is a little hit tonight, um, and we we may have to restart this room a couple times, so bear with us, and we'll try to be lenient about any connection issues you might have. Ooh, oh, no! Fortunate high burst there. Burst. Yeah, for fat damage, too. Enjoy a quick 60, 70% of your life. Happy Chaos is notoriously hard to burst against, and that's a lot of damage coming out. Plus, with the knockdown here. And Sin's DP uh, things does not are do progressing. Oh, Squidge doesn't go for Deus Ex, and uh, Jungus lives with this. Ooh. Ooh, no punish on the DP. The close slash going the wrong way, and Squidge with no resources here, but gets the punish on the DP because of the clone. Which is definitely hitting clone a lot more than I see from other happy chaoses. I wonder if that's... Oh, wow. Good yeah, nice line. IBFD, but Sin able to come right back in there. Ooh, nice mash out, but unfortunate drop there. Doesn't matter. It was a reset. <laughs> and there's the unblockable. Tap dust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gets right behind you back in the corner. Yeah, RC does some goofy stuff sometimes, and that's a good example of it. But yeah, Squidge Luke does not want to take the game one loss sitting down. And very quick games two and three to take the lead here. Nearly finalizing things. I don't know why, I, and I especially I really can't talk crap because Faust has such good air to air and anti air buttons. Uh, Happy Chaos jump normals destroy me. They They're bring me good. to my knees. I I really struggle to anti. <laughs> you know, it's just the, the the angles happy cast players use and you know, the so blind disjointed. spot on my six C. <laughs> yeah. Well, They're... JS is not disjoint. It's just it's a very inconvenient hitbox, but it's not even disjoint. Yeah, no, the JS is good too, but some of the other ones are just. Plus, they're all safe because he's happy chaos. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, when I see the uh, the disjoint box around that man's dirty bare feet, <laughs> he wants you to touch his toes. That's true. Yeah, he's coming for you with the JD. Ah, tough little bit of roll pressure there, opening sneak Chungus up. And Squidge Luke has just been playing these last few rounds perfectly here. Just knowing exactly what to do to get through Sneed here. I mean, part of the challenge with Happy Chaos is uh, their ability to switch gears, right? Because it's like... No one likes calling Happy Chaos a zoner, but they can do it. And then, you know, suddenly Happy Chaos runs up in your face, and he hits you, and you're ready for the high-low, and then you get rolled. Like, it can be uh, very taxing mentally. Like, the, the RPS can develop so quickly. Yeah, and it's all safe too. <laughs> so it's 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 it can be very tilting playing against Happy Chaos and just having to endure so much mix for so long. For sure, I I, I was talking about like the different mental resources different characters uh, will test, and you know, your characters like Zato and Happy Chaos and uh, even Bridget to some extent, right? They will test your patience most of all, I think. Really nice blocking here from Squidge Loop. Just getting blocking that overhead almost every time. Getting caught by the 2K there, though. 
And Sneed Shungus does not want it to end here, trying to go to a game five. But these rolls are just hitting every time. I, I hardly see anybody defend against roll decently. Like, the only person I've ever seen, and maybe we'll see them later tonight, is Lolo, who did incredibly... No bullets and no concentration here. Yeah, this, is, this is when uh, Sneed needs to do something here. Sending him through the wall is definitely a good start. Still with no resources from Squidge Luke. He has pretty much no way to do anything. Yeah, I really would love to retreat and get a bit of a reload here, perhaps. Nice use of the wire, see, but no bullets. Just making use of the orb. Oh, gets one bullet in, it begins. Yeah, reload, that's all it needs. Oh, I'll oh, under the orb. No bullets again, but the 5k, yeah, very fast burst. You don't want to let him get any bullets here. The JS, he's gonna get ammo. It's crazy that it doesn't need a bullet for JS. Oh, Hawkbaker whiffing! It's so close. Oh Squish Luke at negative penalty. Oh, didn't connect. Uh, the gold burst, though. Oh, the see, you gotta catch oh. your meter. He doesn't get it. Nice wire, see. The overhead. Immediately goes for the overhead. Is this dead? That's dead. Woo. Crazy final few hits there from... S and that is bringing it to a game five here. That was, I think, you know, Luke was definitely feeling a little squirrely on the offense there, did not want to block the high-low again, and was backdashing a bit too much and got opened up for it. Yeah, definitely. Very impressive play from both players when uh, Happy Cast was at low resources because, you know, Squidge didn't, didn't give it up, didn't get hit by a really dire counter hit for so long and tried hard to fight out of the corner. And uh, shouts up Sneed Chungus for really applying pressure for a long amount of time there to try to stop Happy Cast from getting the room to reload. Yeah, both players knowing exactly. Ooh, nice throw the on the roll. And look at is. that damage. And the whiffs burst. Very yeah, strong altitude. start here from Sneed. And look at that. Ha Squidge Luke down to about 30% here. And having to block, getting thrown. This should be dead. Yeah, hardly any bar on Squidge Luke's side to even do anything if they got out of this. We got Tyrant Barrel over yeah. here. Ooh, not quite a perfect. He didn't get hit, but the uh, uh, chip damage from the gunshot. And Sneak cleaned that up decently fast. Uh, Luke did not get the opportunity to build much meter. Nice throw on that tap dust. I can't oh. believe that connected. I, I thought for sure he was far enough away. Which He's definitely looking for a uh, backdash or a jump back out here to fight out of the corner. Oh, I think tried to bait the burst there. Oh, oh nice wow. air throw. Squidge Luke could carry this all the way at, out here. This it corner pressure is some of the best oh, in the game. Oh, like at the BRC. Crazy I mean, look at that there. long cap and he built around him. <laughs> I can't believe he blocked that. I would have gotten hit by the first overhead, much less the second and the throw. I've gotten hit three or four times. <laughs> and that's it. Sneed Shungus bringing it back and taking it from Squidge Luke here, 3-2. Sin? Sin in our top eight? Sin? Sin? Sin top one? More likely than you might think. Yeah, I think I think Luke was definitely just looking a bit too squirrely on the defense those last couple of matches, right? Like, definitely looking to uh, up back or, or uh, back dash. Uh, or a lot of things rather than just a uh, fight out of the corner on the ground, which is, which is fair, you know. Uh, yeah, they yeah, were definitely chaos buttons are. I don't know if they can contest a lot of sins buttons on the ground at that range, but uh, they took a lot of risk doing so. I think. Yeah, Squidge was definitely up backing a lot there, and I think Sneed figured it out and started punishing, and that's what took it there. And Squidge getting a little careless with resources in some of the rounds. Going into the next game, we have Skeletony Jones and Red I Am Not. Well, a tree sports tree member, sports Red I Am member. Not. Where are the where are the tree sports in the chat? Get your get your ones in the air for your boy. And uh, Giovanna, you don't see that too too often. I've seen more people shifting to Geo. I, I think people are realizing just how strong she can be. She's strong now. She's gotten a lot of stuff recently but 
It's crazy to me that people are always like, oh, she has no sauce, nothing she does is cool. It's like, really? Like, I don't know. I think the plays she can make are cool. I guess her special moves aren't that saucy, even compared to like uh, other speeches. Let's just look at these combos. Like, look at this combo. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> this character's cool. I'm a big, she big did, Giovanna fan. She simply fan. kicks you to death, yeah. She does not need to be the flame of corruption to simply murder you. We're giving a bit of ground here against the drone. Yeah. I don't know about that, Chief. You got worked all the way to the corner against Gold Lewis. That is a death sentence. Oh, nice jump out. Oh, unfortunate. I don't know if that could actually pick up. I don't know quite enough about Giovanni here. I oh, I think tried to 6B, but nice I'm smash there. Something people have been showing off with her uh, recently is that if you trade with her DP, you're still floating not long enough for her to get a pickup. So it's really not advantageous to trade with Giovanna on at least that move. And it seems to be a, a few others where she can still get that 5k pickup. Yeah, but here's the Gold Lewis pressure and taking serious advantage of the Kara Behemoth Typhoons, which I don't know if you've ever tried to do one of those, but that that's borderline impossible. I don't know how people do it. Brother, you think I can hit a normal behemoth typhoon? Come on. <laughs> you have to do the input so fast because you have to do the input, dash, and press the button. I struggle to do the input without the dash and press the button in time. I am decently okay at car cancels, but uh, Gold Lewis eludes me. He's definitely angles my hands in the knots. I'm, I'm impressed to anybody who plays that character. That circle car cancels a little too much for me. Yeah. Well, do you are you're using the dash macro, right? You're not a you're not yeah, a sicko yeah. who's still double tapping. No, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> not in dire straits here. Holy shit, JoJo reference. <laughs> <laughs> Me just mentioning an old band is that a JoJo? <laughs> Me oh. saying the word yes. Ooh, a little Dude, bit of Gold Lewis neutral here and forcing Skeletony Jones back to the corner. Oh, super unfortunate burst. Skeletony Jones. Look at this Giovanna pressure here. There. Just not letting Red do anything. Yeah. Nice block I mean, on she's the, got the access to some plus frames, which uh, not some. every character has as easy access to plus frames. <laughs> it's a lot of plus frames. <laughs> it's, a, it's one or two, all right? Oh. And it's picked up. that's a Gold Lewis round. That was, I think, three touches. <laughs> Yeah, they took the risk on the drone there, and uh, Red Eye am not capitalized. But back in the corner here, I think she's just being too slow trying to 6P that, but it's, that's an unfortunate move to get hit by. I think Red is trying to preempt some Geo stuff as well, because Gold Lewis tends to have slower buttons, but just uh, whiffing them instead. Like, look at that oh. combo. That was super cool. People are yeah. just lying. <laughs> People only want like three meters at the bottom of their screen. They want a whole mini game to play with their character. <laughs> they they hate this this raw honesty. <laughs> I don't know if you can call Geo's step dash honesty. Look at how fast she moves here. <laughs> uh, fun fact: uh, your your caster Seafresh uh, has never teched a Geo uh, dash grab. Not in my life. I can't do it. It's not reactable. It's it's just not. It is so fast. And straight through the wall here. And now getting the mix. Right, I'm not working on full security gauge and a bar of their own, but I'm not going to at the chance to use anything, it. <laughs> anything that's whiffed air normal into throw is messed up. Like, <laughs> you just, you're not you're not you're dealing with it. that. <laughs> oh, no, uh, this is gold list stuff incoming. Nice tech on that throw. All the way back to the corner. Oh no, BRC not getting it done! Oh! Whoa. Whiffing the gold burst, whiffing the throw! Oh man. Yeah, we got a gold burster on our hands, everyone. Gold burst Dickinson. That's tough. I mean, it seems like Red is really predicting a certain tempo of geoplay that is not being represented. You know, is trying to preempt the stuff, you know, not not trusting their their own reactions necessarily, but Skeletony Jones is uh, not playing at that tempo. It's it's like it's the scene from Whiplash, right? Are you are you rushing or are you dragging? <laughs> oh, the far slash round started. This could very easily be over already. 
Sorry, nice man, man, I heard the, uh, the dragon install theme and blacked out for a second. What did you say? <laughs> uh, just that Gold Lewis got started here, and look at this health lead already. Yeah, and that that's it. That's death. Woo, Chris. It's Gold Lewis. Hang that's what that you burst, do. though. You'd love to ha have the burst lead going into round two here. Yeah, it's going to be really nice having burst here, but getting called out on that 2D, that's probably the only move in the entire game that beats that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, nice, 2D nice neutral. catch on the throw. That's, yeah, right there. Like, see how long you're floating after getting hit by that? <laughs> Straight through the wall. No super, though, to put him through the wall. But doesn't need it. And not killing still, but the PRC. That actually does the same amount of damage. Someone lapped it out. <laughs> That's one way to use uh, 100 meter. <laughs> Someone did lav it out. That is does the same amount of damage as Red are seeing after the throw damage on Geo. I don't know why, but that's cool. How did how did you come by that knowledge? Someone sent me a clip on Discord. <laughs> that's how I know every. That's how I learned everything I know about this game. Someone sent me a Twitter link on Discord. One thing I'll say that I see from a lot of players is that I, I just feel that people give Gold Lewis too much ground off a drone. I know he can put in some truly horrifying pressure and seems very uh, ignorant and neutral skippy, but I, I think people work themselves into the corner where Gold Lewis is, is strongest. Uh, I don't think oh. a lot of characters have a choice. I exactly play from. Ram, so I get to cheat on that, but nice. Gold Lewis is gonna hit. Yeah. Does it kill? No, Not hanging on by a Gold hit. Gold Lewis is a beefy dude. That's that's America you're talking about. And there's the throw. Really well played there. Yeah, Red definitely a bit over rely on uh, representing backdash here in these defensive situations. Yeah, but I mean, I get it. It's Giovanna. She's trying to run at you. You're scared. You want to run back? Like, you want to run? I don't want to block that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're not blocking, you're just getting thrown half the time, and then the one time you try and tech the thrower backdash, you get close slashed and you're dead. <laughs> Very true. That character is scary. I agree. Well, I, I compare it to like when I played Anji for a bit, in that I felt I got away with too much because people hate blocking Fujin so much. Like People are just so, they're like, I don't want to think about it, I know he's going to do some canned RPS. And I just don't want to do it. So they, they'll, like, take immense risks just trying not to block Fujin uh, and end up dying for their trouble. Yeah, I... Uh, about, like, a couple months ago, actually. Maybe it was closer to... I don't remember how long ago it was. But a I long sat time ago. in practice tool, and I learned how to block the Fujin stuff, and it took me a while. It's hard. <laughs> so Anji players are liars is all I gotta yeah. say. <laughs> I don't know if Anji tests your patience as so much as um, like he tests how steady you are because it's like if you do get scared and you get caught up like not with the wrong responses to Fujin it can feel like you're blocking Anji forever and that you can just never get out. It's like eternal Zato. Like you're just constantly getting mixed you know left and right and you don't really know what to do but all you have to do is defend correctly just a couple of times against Anji and you really can begin to set the tempo of the match again some of his stuff is not as easy to react to as people say like that overhead is pretty fast <laughs> it's very it's risky but it's pretty fast it's definitely not slow it, I, I'll say everything he has is technically reactable, but when he's doing four of it along with the held versions plus everything else he can do, yeah, it can become a nightmare. But that's what I mean. Like he's he's picking at your brain and trying to get you stressed out, so you don't go, you don't just think about okay, block low or block high. Like he's trying to throw in every other thing against you. Yeah. See, to no one's surprise, Jack has come pretty darn far, and I think we're about to see them up next here. Yep, we're just waiting on Lolo and Laprise here to play their game, and then we'll get to see Jack versus the winner of that. And that's that's Gold Lewis Faust there, so hopefully not Chip. I I don't want I don't want to see Chip. I I'm, I'm only rooting for Lapras uh, if he's playing Faust. If he's playing Chip, ooh, I I'm sorry. I think I I, I love Lolo. Uh, my best friend is Lolo. Friendship ended with uh, Chip players. <laughs> Friendship ended with Chip. Well, so matchup wise, I, I mean, Chip is still Chip, but I, I feel like Faust might be favored into the Gold Lewis matchup. Uh, Lappers might even fall back on on that character for 
Yep, Gold kind Lewis. of stomps Gold Lewis just because Gold Lewis is such a hard time hitting anything. Yeah. So, I mean, Chip Gold Lewis is 10 0 both ways, right? It's it's whoever gets a hit. It's, it's one hit from either person wins the game. It's, yeah, that's yeah. how that matchup goes. Chip has a significantly easier time getting that hit, though. <laughs> yeah. Lolo's a very scary Gold Lewis player. Like, uh, I like both incredibly tight defense as well as, you know, using gold lewis very effectively in the neutral like i think the sort of unfair stereotype of gold lewis players is uh with jd eight times a drone win game but you know for gold lewis players who are willing to fight it out with you in the neutral and especially like using bts in the neutral that is such a terrifying tool to me especially like because of how disjoint they are and how their hitboxes can be uh, a gold lewis willing to fight with you like that can be so scary some of them are reasonably difficult to whiff punish too, so you can like Gold Lewis can have a lot of space control in neutral. With the Behemoth Typhoons. Absolutely. And then you know there's always uh, helicopter helicopter, which you know you can't rely on, but everyone's gotten opened up by uh air behemoth a couple times. <laughs> it only takes one. Even if you don't get opened up with it. You still just take so much chip damage that you might as well have gotten hit. <laughs> True. Yeah, that's why I was thinking avoiding chip in that matchup specifically because it's like, well, you'll have to waste all your meter on FD, and you, you know, when you finally get the turn on the offense, it's like, how how big are your conversions with no meter? That matchup is uh, is notoriously hard for Gold Lewis, though. So it might we might. The Laprise chip might come out against Lolo. Don't do it to me. I, I just do better it. No, we this. need the Faust. We need it. I will say, you know, uh, I, I don't. We haven't seen a Ram player in a while. Like I feel like Ram players have been dropping in droves, but you dying know, breed. Yeah, young SQ out here. Hopefully, about to show us some solid Ram play post uh, post nerfs, which I, I I really have not seen. Like it just—it felt like the tower used to be full of them, but uh, a lot of people just fell off the character. All right, I'm gonna say something that might be a bit of a hot take, but all the bad players dropped Ram, so. <laughs> do, 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 shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> uh, everyone who everyone who uh, played Ram because she was strong dropped her, and now it's like five people are left. It's pretty wild because she still. Is no. strong in the corner. Don't tell me SQ's on ship this tournament. Okay. Agony. That's hey. it. Nope. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, Bottom it's been character. A lovely stream. Uh, you know, it's been great <laughs> hanging out with you guys. Bottom we'll be... character. My downplaying has finally led up to this moment. Oh, Vegas says, "Don't start your Ram downplay." No, we're Ram up playing. We're saying Ram's still a good character. I'm still Why, where did all the Ram players go? Downplaying. Okay, Bottom one of us. Character. Bottom five character <laughs> goes Ram, Sin, Pot, <laughs> Chuck. Chuck's enough. No, I can't believe I can't believe she would do this to me. Not the chip. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, I don't. She she still has very potent corner pressure, and sword toss in general is so good in a game where like fireballs aren't as common, <laughs> and mostly they're not super good. Like Ram can straight up like beat a lot of stuff on reaction, throwing swords full screen. Like sword that, toss that is still the second best projectile in this game, right after Nago clone. <laughs> <laughs> Brute, yeah. T when you when you phrase it like that, yeah. <laughs> Unless you count Gold Lewis drone as a projectile, which I don't, I count it as another character. <laughs> <laughs> it's the assist. That guy's playing Marvel. He's a he's a puppet character. That's just Eddie. <laughs> Bro, that's Round Eddie. You ain't you ain't seen Round Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, probably more useful than Eddie. Some patches. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you talk about the the little lad like that? Like, I've played enough Zato to be able to downplay him too. <laughs> I'm a Zato up player. I think I like I, I played a tiny bit of Zato and I don't think I do anything impressive as the character. I, I know the normal game plan stuff, but I, I don't think naked Zato is as bad as he's, you know, made out to be. Cause it's he's like, got some good moves and then he's got some awful moves. And the problem is a lot of his neutral depends on the awful moves <laughs> like the 2S. 
Zato 2S is a bad move, and I will go to my grave with that opinion. I agree with you until it beats my far slash, <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until Z until I play against a Zato and I lose three opponents. Oh, guess guess Zato's top one. It's true. Truly, this aggravation is coming from my own inadequacies, where I block like a full eddy bar of mix up, and then the Zato player flies into the stratosphere, and I go, "Okay, it's my chance." Eddie's going to be down for six frames after <laughs> after I block those five mix ups. And Zato's flying a billion miles away. Let me access my win condition. I will throw items. And then I throw a trumpet. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it was a nice round, guys. I had, I had a great run. Uh, Zato top one. See you later. So you just hit the alt F4 and go play something else. <laughs> so y'all want to play Team Fortress too? <laughs> I am tired of this. Yeah, but I don't know why they made Eddie's recovery time so fast in this game. Because in the other Guilty Gears, it wasn't like that. You, if you, if you're, if Eddie died in plus R, you're waiting 30, 40 business days. He, he has to be shipped to your front door. No, no, the Strive Eddie is knock knock. Open up the door. It's real. It's, that's Amazon Prime same day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> He's R that he lives in your walls. Yeah. It's tough for sure. I, you know, thinking about like the punishment for use of different resources, it's like Happy Chaos can feel very difficult. Well, first of all, I mean, Happy Chaos and Zato having supers that just reset the resources, whew, that is that is tough. That is hard to take sometimes. Uh, yeah, like, no, Sunvoid is a pretty good, pretty good move. <laughs> the and full Zato, screen Zato tracking a projectile that's faster than a lot of my moves. Yeah, that one, <laughs> that one hurts. <laughs> it looks like Lolo took beat Lapreze three two there. So I wonder which care. I am curious which character Lapreze was on, or if they switched mid mid game or mid set. <laughs> We cursed him by talking about Faust mid set. We we put a dark and powerful yeah. spell. <laughs> He's, he was watching the stream. He's like, I can't play Chip, and then he plays Faust and get throws a trumpet and loses. <laughs> That's how, just as soon as I say it. No, I, I, I love Faust Gold Lose because you can do so much. Like I, you can mess with Burn It Down with Crow, which rules. Like you you get to ignore Drone a fair amount. Like a you can fight Gold Lewis air to air or like. Uh, ground to air, ground to ground. When when he summons drone, you can punish drone with uh, spear pull a lot of times. But you can also just ignore drone by teleporting past it like that. I I, I think I have the most fun in that matchup, uh, and it's because I'm winning. It's for no other reason. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going in. We have Jack versus Lolo. Jack's been on a bit of a tear recently, winning just about everything there is to win. Yeah, uh, I don't want to overhype them, but like, what a menace to come out of nowhere. <laughs> I, you know, I won't say that online results mean the exact same as offline results, but they're they're an indicator of success for sure. And uh, if they're any indicator, then Jack could be a real problem at the next major. Yeah, and I'm excited to see it because all the all the happy chaos players are switching too. <laughs> no, oh, the burst goes through. It's gonna hit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what a waste of 50 meter. That's tough. But, you know, uh, burst down on Lolo. And this this matchup is the only argument Gold Lewis had for keeping the Unchanged on. Because it made this matchup pretty close to even. But now that Happy Chaos mostly dodged nerfs and Gold Lewis, very, very bold super here. What? And it connects? I don't, don't, I don't, I don't believe that. That, that, that. I'm being gaslit. Yeah, what did Lolo spot? <laughs> Oh, that was from literally half screen. What? <laughs> Lolo hit the full screen 720. Just like watch the hold my beer. That's not real. That doesn't go that far. I'm just pretending I didn't see it. Things are looking tough. I, I often accuse Lolo of having like the best defense of anybody I've seen, which I think you have to as Gold Lewis in certain matchups. But uh, it is not looking as airtight as normal. And you know, Jack is a incredible threat on offense as well so they're being opened up time and time again well to be fair i think i would have been gotten hit about four or five more times than lolo has this game so, <laughs> so the, defense the defense is, is still looking nice <laughs> just the jack offenses 
It's it's oh. it's pretty unbeatable, bro. When but, I see BRC instant overhead from Happy Chaos, I turn turn it off, bro. Turn. I'm setting my controller down in protest. <laughs> We're getting this meter here. Nice tech, and Jack should kill here. Not quite out of ammo, but Lolo getting caught running, and almost bringing it back there. But Jack just pulling it out at the last second. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Lolo playing a little a little hotter than I'm used to, a little more aggressive and risky than I'm used to, which I think, you know, Jack Jack at times almost seems uh, robotic in their precision. Like, uh, it, like if we were playing Call of Duty, I'd be like, oh, they're hacking, they're hacking. But no, their their hands are just that good. Check his, um, check his PC. <laughs> yeah, Jack, Jack has a, a aimbot on. <laughs> the script. Yeah. No, no, I mean, you know, Jack is as fallible as anybody else, but they are, they do have incredible hands. Uh, I mean, Happy Chaos is a character that everyone who plays will make mistakes on, but... And here's the wall slump, and everyone's been here, and nobody wants to be here. Jack choosing to end it early, though. Probably I'll tell you what, when Happy Chaos leaves the ground, I want to end it early. <laughs> Nice Lolo blocks here from Lolo, like getting Ooh. thrown. And Jack just with this unbelievable pressure. Oh, let me open up my synonym, uh, synonym list. Uh, Jack out here with the uh, lugubrious pressure strings. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, this is also a matchup where I think uh, Gold Lewis really struggles to bring security meter to bear, right? Because it's like if you try to pull drone full screen, Happy Cats can just pull out the toolie on you. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely why the matchup got so much worse when drone goes away on hit, because a lot of the time you just take the hit to get the drone out and play neutral against Happy Chaos. But now if you get a hit, it's over and you just wasted your security meter and like two shot two or three shots worth of health. Now Lolo out here with a single bar, but Happy Chaos just gaining so much meter through positive bonus. Uh, one thing people have pointed out about positive is that it reduces the penalty on your tension pulse from uh, repetitive or negative actions. So you can continue to gain just a ridiculous amount of meter through very safe play. Yeah, and there's that zoning that Happy Chaos is still more than capable of, especially against a character like Gold Lewis, who is slow. <laughs> Happy Chaos uh, can cover a lot of space with just shooting and backdashing. It can be hard to watch sometimes. I know it makes people grumpy, but honestly, I find myself admiring the tempo switch. Like, some Happy Chaoses will risk a lot trying to open somebody up for that last pixel. And it's like, why bother? You have the health lead. Oh, no. Ooh. High altitude burst. Yeah. This combo is almost entirely burst safe, and I hate it. <laughs> But yeah, just straight through the wall here. And Back Jack with full button. resources. Lolo with Wait. no burst. Everybody in chat, watch Jack's meter right now. Like, just on the meter gain per bullet shot. <laughs> I think like he, I think he gains less when he gets with. a hit than when he just shoots him. And he blocks Yeah, that him. is so hard to deal with. And Lolo at one here. Jack can just chip them out. But goes for the 2K instead. Doesn't want to. <laughs> wants to be a little more fancy than that. Doesn't want to dirty his gun. Would rather dirty his his dirty bare feet. They're already pretty nasty. I mean, have you seen them? They got they got a manicurist in the or a pedicurist in the backyard. <laughs> oh, there it is. Stop. <laughs> yep. Jeez. All right. Uninstalling right now. <laughs> That's gotta be to like watch less that. reactable than Bad Moon, right? Like that has to come out faster. Like all you can do is predict it, and then oh, they're just standing up. Bad Moon's, up. Moon's, Bad Moon's fast. Bad Moon's so comically fast. <laughs> nah, I can see Bad Moon. I can react. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh, what a call burst. Out. This is probably the round unless Jack gets a good burst up here. Like, look at that chip damage. Jack with no meter too, and Lolo is just able to keep putting this out. Full risk here. Bad risk. Yeah. Jack didn't even hit. get hit. <laughs> However, that's a lot to spend. Jack still has burst on the board here, and uh, Gold Lewis, it's going to be a long time. Oh my oh, god! No, no, right gold back burst. After Hal. But that's really what you want to see against Gold Lewis, is just get a gold burst, get him off of you, and get your resources so you can just do this. 
and that's that opens everybody up. The happy chaos players come to me and they're just like, uh, just just I be it. All just you have to do is air throw. Just just block the fifty fifty. Yeah. Brother, if, Jack, I, if I was out here IBFTing everything, I would be Mochi. Yeah, I never would have gotten hit. Personally, if it were me, I would just block. <laughs> Guy like me, I'm built different. I would have I would have won every tournament, but you know, that's why I don't <laughs> enter. And just there's a Jack showing what he's made of here. And getting into top eight on winner's side. That's I mean that's something I love about Strive is like what a frightening competitor to come out of not nowhere right like Jack would hang around in Celestia almost clearly you know um owning their craft for a while but the other happy chaos says we're just like hey man you gotta enter tournaments and then he comes out and he's just like yeah, beating just winning them all, top yeah. ten players in in online brackets and like I said that doesn't necessarily mean uh, he'll beat them online or offline but what an incredible indicator of skill uh what a frightening player to suddenly come on the scene and just you know really uh pump the gas on on happy chaos and play in uh i think i would say jack plays in a, a more neutral based happy chaos than i see a lot and i think maybe that makes people grumpy uh to, to hear like happy chaos neutral but like go watch jack just put the reticle on people and wait for the whiff punish I don't even think it's neutral. Jack just plays so cleanly in every situation that it's really hard to beat him doing anything. For sure, it is. I, you know, people complain about trying to whiff punish that character so much, and it's like, well, what if the player was so good they simply left no holes? You know, how how hard <laughs> would that matchup be? All right, looks like we have our winner side for top eight, so we're going to be going into a short break and then jumping right back into top eight here. So, we will see you all. What is good, chat room? This is Aegis Esports, Guilty Gear Strive Weekly, number 22, coming at you from top eight winner's side. If you're just joining us, I'm C Fresh, and this is MTCC. Hello, and what a tournament we've had so far, with so many big names here showing up, and what a top eight this is going to be. We have, right now, the winner's side, two soul bad guys, Yes. and a chip sq has betrayed the ramlethals and is playing chip this tournament well this also might be um evil mike playing happy chaos we'll see oh, I, know, yeah, I know he evil likes to mike. switch it up sometimes he has he has matchups where he plays some happy he plays soul and he plays happy chaos and i have never been able to figure out what makes him pick what <laughs> I don't understand why people don't represent multiple characters more. Like, people say it stunts your growth so bad, but I, I just feel like people people rarely try to go for it. I think because the thing is, there's so much depth. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a word. There's so much depth to the characters in this game. I tried <laughs> to the characters in this game that if you're practicing another character... You could just spend that time practicing your main character mm. and get further ahead because you're never really going to be like finished labbing with your character. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you really start to get into the nitty gritty weird situations that come up and get the highest reward you can off of those, you know, in, in specific <laughs> matchups with, with specific moves and like all the, the delicate spacing. Um, <laughs> I know <laughs> like a lot of people, what you got? If you don't know your counter hit 5P combos from everywhere on screen, you don't know your character. <laughs> Those can be very useful. Like the ability to convert off of light buttons is a big deal in Strive. So like, I mean, I think you're joking, but that's like dead serious. Uh, I think, you know, people are, we're a little frustrated with Strive on release. I mean, probably still now, honestly, about how dry some of the characters feel and all the moves they lost. But I, I think, yeah, one of the interesting things about how um limiting the strive move sets can be is that it forces all the burden on the player right it's like you have to get creative with your tools you don't you don't necessarily have you know 40 tools and you can fall back and like know them all and use them all it's like you have this this very tiny set of tools and you have to use them to the greatest extent possible and sq is on ship a sad day Pour one out, pour one out. You know, I still, still got to give you some some Michigander love. But it, wait, why am I rooting for Ram and Chip players? That's 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 on you. <laughs> like I like Ram players, but the Chip, I don't know about that. 
SQ played Faust for like two weeks as a challenge. She could she could whip out the Faust, right? <laughs> if SQ if SQ busts out the Faust here, I don't even know. <laughs> you were gonna you were gonna you offer just, money and then you looked in your wallet. I might just I might just retire from Strive if I see a Faust from SQ. I think Faust is decent tournament. in the sole matchup, honestly. It's not. It's not the worst counter pick. They're, they're certainly <laughs> worst pick. Yeah, Faust having zero guts makes Soul kind of just wail on him a little too hard for me to like it. Two K is decently strong into Soul, and you can be annoying with Crawl. But that is. It is correct that you know Faust, as large as Faust is, he is exactly as brittle as he looks. <laughs> Probably less brittle than he looks, honestly. He looks very brittle. I, I did the math one time. He has like a 7 BMI or something ridiculous like that. Because <laughs> he's 9 feet tall and 110 pounds. So... He's a... Uh, not, not a healthy dude. He's on a water diet. He's on a cleanse. I, I like SQ's in-game name of Gex. That game is funny. Representing Gex, the classic <laughs> that everyone wants back. And here's the chip pressure, but Mike gets out. Oh my god, two with <laughs> on the 5P. Short King privilege. I'll say, I, I love Mike in certain matchups because he really slows down. Like, he's willing to play solo from the mid range. He's not exactly anxious to get in. Oh wow, great conversion there from That's SP. it, that's chip. Let's, yeah. see if, let's see if Mike can get out of this because this is going to be. Mean... Yeah. You have to yeah, try something the there. Because... Oh wow. Ooh, the, the burst well, or long enough. But that just the chip buttons are a little too good there. Yeah, Shades of Exer trying to run in behind the uh, RC Gunflame. If it was just really like there, but not the IBFB. <laughs> oh no! And yeah, this is how this is what makes Chip so strong is he builds this meter so fast, and then he just sets up this situation here. Might getting out of it there because. Uh, SQ not having quite enough meter, but now with the meter in the corner, plus the positive bonus, positive bonus running out right at the wrong time for SQ. Mike holding on, but gets hit by the overhead, and should be dead here. And why Why does that combo work? I don't like that. <laughs> so tough. And we see, you know, Mike's willing to be patient and block. You know, SQ definitely testing his metal there. And waiting for him to do something, he's unwilling to. But at some point, I think you just you got to take a risk because you can't be in the corner against Chip forever. He'll open you up eventually. <laughs> you know, you can block five mix-ups, but the six is all it takes. We've seen uh, SQ has some nice conversions here too, like very ready with it, uh, instantly getting the wall breaks. Yeah, SQ already very very well versed on this character, despite picking him up very recently. So. Oh, but Mike getting the first hit here. SQ swing right back and then getting the FD break throw. And oh man, yeah, it's like if he gets the chance to apply soul pressure, uh, it would be very easy for Chip to fold with, you know, that health. And uh, he has worse uh, risk penalty as well, right? And yeah, now SQ with a little more meter getting the safe jump, but Mike using that RC there to get out of there. That's what the Lapper is raiding with a party of twelve. Uh, be honest with me, friend. Were you were you playing Faust or Chip tonight? <laughs> <laughs> both. Nice. That's cool. We were just talking about people representing multiple characters and how it's kind of rare, but I, it's interesting. And I wonder why people don't do it more. Just like there on Bandit too. What a freaking nature. Those are some uh, downright scary hands. But SQ just with this unbeatable pressure here, and then a nice mash to the three frame. Oh yeah, that'll cash in on the risk build. And this Mike this representing is what that corner this combo. That like weird little what vortex is... corner combo there. <laughs> An 85% damage combo. And yeah, that was two touches to close that out. <laughs> Flap saying, "I wish I only represented chips." Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mike oh, trying to go for the burst special. bait, but SQ just holding it there. And can't press Mike one button against this character. Again. But Mike with the meter can go for the DPRC to get out, but that is not a cheap cost. But gets hit by the overhead, and the burst is baited. 
really well played there from Askeo. We've seen Askeo going up by the had a couple of times there. I wonder if he's going for DP on wake up and just missing it. But I mean, he he out of anybody certainly has the hands to get reversal DP every time. It might just be a uh, timing thing with the chip, uh, the chip combo. But I'm not a hundred percent sure what's causing him to get hit there. Here it might just be blocking low. Might be predicting the empty jump low. Yeah. But we're going into game three here, and SQ's lo looking very strong on this new character. Yeah. Oh, here's the problem. We got the chip theme on. I'd be yeah, anytime gonna wake up. Certainly, soul suffers from that a great deal. <laughs> nice escape there from SQ. But look at that is so scary. Like with a single two S, and that's the kind of pressure waiting for you. Oh, blocks the burst. This is dead. This is. Nah. This is dead. Mm, almost, almost. But having to block the pressure here. Yeah, and that's dead. And that's the power Soul has in this matchup, is that damage against Chip. Even though Mike spent significantly more time blocking than SQ, takes so many less hits. I mean, it's explosive both ways, right? Like, we see uh, SQ get a single counter hit against Soul, and then getting the Chip wall break into Chip positive bonus. Oh no! It's screen tyrant rave kill. <laughs> it's it's two hits every time for Mike, but honestly, it's one hit for SQ. Yeah, it depends on where it is, but easily if Chip has the meter for the wall break, uh, it could it could be over for Soul in a heartbeat. Let's see, Mike seeming to stabilize a little, definitely looking out and, you know, I, they were so patient those first couple of rounds, but still still got counter hit enough uh, for Chip to win. Very early burst here from SQ, and she's going to be feeling that now. Yeah, and speaking of counter hit. Almost dead there. Oh, but the counter hit here from SQ, and this honestly puts Mike in the corner. Yeah. Maybe through the wall? Not quite. I'm so scared. Yeah, that could have been the round there. But this throw here, and... Mike just having to block. SQ trying to bait the uh, reversal. Oh, unfortunate drop. a little drop. too far out. Uh, this fight goes through that. the wall. Yeah, this goes through the wall here. No, oh, no. Cool. Uh, SQ, and the yeah. volcanic rocker there. <laughs> if it doesn't work, go for it again. Soul bad guy is the flame of corruption. And Mike is coming out swinging here. That low profile on that 5P is so strong here. I wouldn't expect it, but yeah, 5Ps are difficult to use in this game uh, for their intended purpose. They definitely see a lot more uses and tears nowadays. Oh, we're trying to updrift our C combo, probably looking for the burst, yep. Nice burst save combo there, and Mike making it 2-2. Two -two. These have been comically fast games. This is what Strive is all about. Dying in one hit. <laughs> People went to go get a water, you know, waiting to watch top eight. Boom, and then top eight's over. over. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to spend longer on that break than this match. And this is a five game match. Yeah, honestly, I mean, a couple couple souls potentially here in, in top eight. Uh, the rest of it could go that fast. Let's see the round start. Mike Back just being there. patient there, but getting punished for it. And now in the corner, having to block chip pressure. I mean, I think it's far more common for people to do, like, walk back 6S, but that can be so scary against chip, where uh, whipping a single button could be death. Nice punish there, using chip speed oh, and the big speed. What? That was a very bold burst there for Mike. I would have gotten crossed up. Chip is, like, right under him. Like, with the opportunity to turn things around, it really does not take that many hits. That said, Chip has the meter here that uh, if he can get a single hit or even a single block, could get out of anything. Yeah, one hit for either. Oh, it's one touch for either player. Oh, 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 the Volcanic <laughs> Viper! What a good call out there. Oh my god. I would have gotten hit every time. Yeah, that must have been air. I was Because it was jump back. Why? Nice I couldn't attack that. Some players defense. Oh, nice call crap. out there. And this is going to be through the wall and into pot. No, drops it, it looks like. 
It's wild. I mean, you know Mike's got to want to represent those options like Volcanic Viper because he knows uh, one turnaround could win him the game, but they're so risky. Oh, straight through the wall. Uh, honestly, both players one touch here. <laughs> yeah. But I could have said uh, that around. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, and nice trade there. Hips air button's very hard to interact with, especially I always bring up drills. Like, everyone says, oh, drills is easy, just 6P it. But, like, I see the best players in the world getting nailed it's by chip drill all the time. It's too ambiguous to even try and 6P it. Yeah. Your best bet is to try and air throw it, but even that's pretty tough. I always just run. <laughs> I always just, like, I don't want to be under you <laughs> anymore. Yeah, but Mike has spent so much time blocking. Oh. SQ's almost gotten every burst bait possible but not actually baiting the burst there just By the way, that seeing. was so nasty double low into the tick throw nice uh, wire see there no one i know could have defended it and sq regaining neutral here and all she has to do is get one high velocity whiff punish here but mike is not going to make it easy getting a hit here Oh, and getting another hit, and that's you could die here. Not quite dead, but the low there, and Mike taking that very, very close. What a closeout, and especially like the, the presence of mind to not get with punish there or, or take insane risks against Chip in those final moments. Very difficult. I know a lot of people will just send it once they have low health. Next up in top eight, we're going to have Jack versus Hamilton Rye. A a Ram player? Who's on Ram? Hamilton. Hmm. Hamilton Rye really been putting up uh, some incredible work out here in online brackets recently. Well, we did get our Ram, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, tell tell me what's fake. I have my notepad out. I need <laughs> I, I need the help. Happy Chaos doesn't get the advantages that some characters have against Ram because he has no reversal, so Ram gets to run a lot of frame traps for free. But Happy Chaos is still Happy Chaos, so he gets to do this. <laughs> oh that, man, double overhead. Yeah, nobody blocked that. Why is you, his JP you, like that? If you think you blocked that, you're lying. Everyone who's watching this and it's like yeah i could have blocked that you're lying you got hit i got hit your whole family got hit <laughs> your grandchildren got hit yeah that 5h though is what makes this matchup i don't want to say so good for ram but it is such a strong tool in this matchup it covers so much space and with ram's very high speed They're hungry for competition. Okay. Yeah, Lone Rifter, I, I couldn't it. agree more. Uh, some people have... overhead opens ram up the jd into j2k is one of the most disgusting things in this game he just You're, flies what, you can't ibfd it <laughs> it's a double overhead cross up like how do you block that there's no shot <laughs> yeah 
Hamilton in the corner here, and Jack just putting so much pressure, but Hamilton getting out with the far slash. Ooh, tries to Ooh, dive on Happy Chaos there. Yeah, that heavy slash is just very, very useful in this matchup. But Jack is just so good at fighting everything. Oh, man. First baited and probably the kill here from Deus Ex Machina. All right, yeah. And Jack going up 2-0. Uh, Jack heard there okay. were lobby issues and went to make this one quick. Yeah, someone tell them not to rematch. Please, I beg <laughs> of you, don't rematch. I'll end the lobby, please, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're going into it, folks. They're they they are Discord. hungry for competition. They can't hear us. They have AirPods in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't look at Discord when I'm in mid-bracket, but this is an unfortunate time. Brother, I barely look at Discord mid commentary. Uh, we've been begged to stop talking before. <laughs> it's like you, you'll finish a sentence and then you'll look in Discord and you'll see 30 pings from production telling us we were supposed to take a break 20 minutes ago. <laughs> telling us, please die. Oh man, opened up by the instant overhead. Happens to the best of us. Ooh. Yeah, Hamilton out here just unfortunately unable to really apply the big damage Ram is known for. And, uh, you know, Jack gets one burst, resets them to full screen, and uh, takes too much resources to get in. Ram lost a lot of access to mid screen high damage combos, though, with the Rekka getting damage getting nerfed, because now it does so much less that. Oh! But Jack Hamilton getting the corner, the corner the pressure throw. here. Yep. And this yeah, is just... 2H is your big starter mid screen, right? Uh, you always want to get a close slash, but <laughs> the main thing you do in your mid screen, in your mid screen combos, is just corner carry. So you can put them mm. in the corner. That seems cool. I like that they are sort of. Oh, Mortobato hits even that high because she has both swords. It, Mortobato is safe if you block it in the air. <laughs> so. Uh, Ram gets to deal with jumps sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But this happy chaos mix. Bonus here. Oh, wow. It's like you've been hit with the double overhead three or four times in a row, and then he finally goes for overhead throw. It's like, what are, what are you to do? I think she dies to this. Deus Ex Machina really going to blow through that dust. Oh my god, yeah. that kills. And Jack bringing it back from one health. This is... <laughs> Jack on set point here, looking to save the lobby. This is an unfortunate oh game to miss here. Battle of the here. 5Ks. <laughs> You see what I mean? Like, Jack's movement and spacing in the mid-range is just immaculate compared to so many happy cast players who really uh, aren't as interested in playing the neutral. It's it's so scary to deal with. It's, it's his willingness to just stop putting on pressure, back off, and then reapply pressure just to bait something out. Yep, I gotta. I I will finally be ending the lobby. These players are are too hungry for competition. They need <laughs> need to be banned. And we will uh, hopefully be back with you in a little bit with a fresh new lobby. Let me. Uh, how good am I with the disband room combo? It's like, uh, it's like you know how people have the commands memorized to. Um, like leave a game of Street Fighter V really fast. Like they 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 know the exact Im the the raging demon inputs to quit out of the app. That's me with the Guilty Gear lobby remaking. Yeah. Um. Do we want me to make the lobby, or do you want to get it? I think it's fine. I think it's just spectator bug in general. Cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. I may be cursed. Hold on. I gotta make sure I have everything set up. Uh, no rematch, all platform. I don't know about this cross play, bro. These Xbox <laughs> players. All right, there's the code. Oh, cool. Yeah, sorry about this, folks. I mean, as you're no doubt aware, the uh, Guilty Gear infrastructure is a little beat up right now. 
Oh, speaking of, if you haven't seen it, the, the Bedman uh, guide is out and looks crazy. Yeah, I am so excited for that character. Strive He's is so cool. Like, Strive seems really... Oh, that was uh, Rio. Yeah, Jack, Jack won. Jack. That's why we... Yeah. Oh, no worries, Koi. Um, oh, yeah, if you guys can't hear them, our, our, our producer is in here with us. Oh, wow. We should have let MTCC host this thing the whole time because... Uh, his room is way better I have, than mine. I have decorated the tomb. I have, I have uh, the Faust. I have, I have Eddie right in front of where you fight. Yeah. Eddie's hanging out. That's yeah, you love to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was saying, like, they, they're really interested in the design space in Strive of people not being able to block. We've seen that on several characters where they just have, have times they, they cannot block. Um, and, uh,. Batman is no exception where it's like, yeah, you you go into this weird stance or you can do your uh, your error special moves. I haven't gotten that far in the video yet. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, or I don't know. I haven't seen the not blocking part yet, but I, I did mean, see. Oh, can he just like, not block when he's in the. OK, well, it seems like you just go into a canned animation if you let it I rock. Thought could, um, I thought he could block during. Looks, well, you can block, but it takes you out of the. Um, Okay, stance yeah. and you don't get your your move anymore your follow or like up. it yeah, won't yeah. come out yeah very intriguing i i wonder how much you'll be able to vary it up in pressure like there's the one that lets you do it faster and it's like so you can you have your fast and your slow special move timing but i i guess it would depend on if any of those are safe yeah uh, so Exert Bedman is notorious for having like no plus specials, <laughs> or at least in Rev Two, because Bedman started out sign comically busted, Rev One comically busted, Rev Two they nerfed him into the ground. <laughs> He's paying for his sins, so, much like Potemkin. The Potemkin's been paying for his sins of the last twenty-one years. <laughs> Potemkin's sins can drink. Potemkin committed the original sin. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely looking to give uh, Bedman a try. Uh, <laughs> I, it's hard to know what they're... just calling him Bed. Bed. Because no when man. The, uh, when the another story happens and Bed, uh, Bedman shows up, that's what all my friends and I called him as Bed. <laughs> we wanted Bed as the next character. Give me to bed. Leave, leave the man out of it. Mankind. Duel one. Let's rock. All right. Let's see. Uh, you know, happy. I, I'm glad to not have to cast the happy chaos mirror. I'll say that. Uh, <laughs> and you know, Mike with his time on the character is really uh, probably has a good shot of dealing with some of the more frightening offense that happy cast has to offer, just because he's performed it himself. Yeah, but Jack is just such a solid player. <laughs> it's kind of scary just going against him, but yeah, getting that burst bait off into the throw reset there, into the second throw, into straight to the wall, and Jack is showing that he is a menace. Yeah, what was that, three or four throws? And people say take the throw, but uh, in Strive, I'm not so sure. Those throws do a real grip of damage. Everything in this game does so much damage. <laughs> yeah, you know... <laughs> Oh man, 2S just doing work out here in the neutral. Soul definitely uh, has to perform some more risky options to try to deal with a button like that. Yeah, but Mike getting sent through this wall again. Let's see, Mike over here with one bar while Happy Cast is still working on positive bonus. Jack swiftly building up to two bars here. He's definitely got to open Happy oh, Cast up. He's got chance of surviving. Oh! Oh! And Jack with full meter is not going to let Mike have an easy time getting out of this and straight through the wall here. Like, do you think he lives? No. Oh, yeah. I meant to say dead, but through the wall. <laughs> it's like, uh, he will not be escaping the corner because he will be dead. Either way, he was, uh, after Happy Chaos sends you through the wall, you're pretty much dead anyway. <laughs> Good God. And that's, uh, that's match one. High octane gameplay here. You're, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe Strive is a high damage game. I can definitely, <laughs> uh, I definitely see your point. It's not quite Marvel, but it's it's close. <laughs> Duel one. Let's rock. 
Round start clap. I think it was probably 2S versus 2S. 2S and 2S, yeah. I guess they're the same frames. I never even checked. I have no idea how fast either of them are. All I know is Happy Neither. Chaos is good. Souls is slightly disjoint. Oh, oh wow, boom. just a fully whipped PV. Yeah. And there's the clone putting in a lot of work against the Gunflame. Yeah, you can yeah, really not afford to whip Gunflame in this match. Alright, finally you need to apply some normal soul there. offense. Jack really wants to be out of this situation. It's probably one hit on either side. Look at that, what I tell you, he'll back up into neutral and just leave the reticle on you and he's like, I beg you with yeah, something. It's, it's so hard to deal with, especially with curse in play. Nice block there from Mike, but gets hit on the second low. Yeah, you are, you are not free after blocking one mix up. And Jack just showing this dominance here. Mike sending it a little bit, needing a lot of damage for his trouble. Maybe yeah, with, uh, Jack with positive bonus. Sixty percent there, Whew. and getting hit again just by a straight gunshot. Jack getting the Deus Ex Machina, full ammo, almost full concentration, positive Second bonus. Positive bonus. There's positive a resource Jack bonus. has it, but Mike with the burst into the six S Night Raid Vortex, sending Jack through the wall here. Look at that corner carry. Spending Honestly, I think it's one meter on this combo. But Jack now at full meter. Oh man. Oh. Honestly, the wires he saved his life. Yeah. Unfor a little hard? unfortunate there from Jack. A little lucky that he went for that wires he from Mike. But in the end, Happy Chaos gets the gunshot into combo, closing that I one out. People say just dash block against, you know, Happy Chaos Shot, but we see, like, some of the, the best players in the game, certainly the best players in the tournament, still get opened up by that. It is, uh, it's not the easiest to do, especially, you know, deep in the bracket. Uh, a single hands error can really, really end you out here. It's because you can vary that timing so much, because most of the time when you're dash blocking, you're expecting shot, reload, shot. But if he goes shot, and then no reload shot. It's a little faster and it can catch you off guard sometimes. And depending on what you're- oh no. Oh man, Mike just bursting into happy chaos. This is honestly, it's relatable because whenever I play the Ram Mirror, which I know this isn't the mirror, but Mike Mike's plays more than enough happy chaos to know where the burst safe routes are. I always burst into the wrong spots too. I don't know what it is, but you know, it just uh happens. Mike showing us he's he's uh, that we could be just as good as him if we applied ourselves. Now he's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> oh my god, that six B didn't connect. Like ugh, disjoint. Get those dirt. Two K. It's just such scary pressure here from Jack. Uh, you want to you want to mash out, but every time you try and mash out, you get shot. And every time you don't mash out, he saves ammo. I mean, I think you gotta look for the IBFD opportunity here. Like, if you can't, uh, if he can't hit that, he's just gonna run that against you all day. The one main advantage of Happy Chaos having constant gapless pressure is that you, it's a lot safer to try and get IBs. Okay. And a little bit of guilty gearing, but I think we're all in here. Did you say the advantage, like the disadvantage of Happy Chaos having gapless pressure is that IBFDs are easier? It's like, it's, no, there's lower I, I refuse to hear to that. Because if you miss your IB, the game auto blocks for you. <laughs> so. Like, Happy Chaos having gapless pressure puts you in such a, uh, a low mental state that uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you give up on the game and seek only to IBFD. And then you're trying to IBFD and he does roll four times in a row and you get hit every time. It's it's a game for sure. Yeah, and like Jack is the type of player to adapt to that, I think, which is unfortunate. Like seeing how they apply offense, it's it's rare that like somebody figures something out and then they don't just move to a different thing. That's what's so terrifying. Like they're they they have a vile bubbling cauldron full of mix ups, and you know, if you deal with one, well, you had another one on the way. You have you have a ladle full of mix up on the way. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna be uh, waiting a little bit because our losers bracket has not quite caught up 
Chara Winter Yo, said, Sneed chunk us out here in losers. We got to sit in top eight, sit baby. In top eight. Taking down Vega to get to top eight. So either way, we're going to get some goofy character in top eight off of that. We're going to get something goofy off that game. <laughs> you're, you're calling Milia a goofy uh, bottom five character? I'm not saying bottom five. I'm saying goofy. <laughs> I will forever upplay Milia. Uh, I think she's got more than enough stuff going for her. She can be very frustrating to play against, I'll say, but uh, definitely capable of, of fighting her. Like I said, I just think she'll... I don't know anybody who deals with Capel well. Um... And I know, like, Milia players say, oh, just watch all her air movement, and when she's out, then you can hit her. I'm yeah, like, I, yeah, I'm like, I don't have the eyes for that, man. Like, that is that is a lot to keep track of. All right, looks like we do have a match coming up. We have Squidge Luke versus Water One. So Sin and Zato, I believe. Which... The water. Yeah, Sin, the water. You know, on... a character with a reversal. Uh, as as scary as it can be to use, uh, can definitely look for for gaps there. But like everybody else. Uh, when you're trapped in the drills, you just gotta block. Yeah, Zato is pretty good at dealing with reversals, but Sin's damage against Zato, if Zato slips up, which is pretty easy to do on that character, that character is hard. <laughs> oh, no, Walter's Sin not. has a uh, one is on ship. Good lord, there is there are chip crimes being committed nah, today. Honestly, I don't. I come on, everyone's I close my eyes. Characters and they're going to chip. It's okay. Some people are moving to Geo, which is like they're. I mean, they're Geo's both. The, Geo. uh, Geo's cool. <laughs> yeah, they're annoying with punish characters, and they're very fast. But uh, it's it's cool to see Geo getting some love because people just sort of dunked on her from day one for uh, being dripless and sauceless, <laughs> and not oh, having not uh, enough have cool like dog this. magic. <laughs> it it's I, I it's so sad about Chip existing. <laughs> <laughs> Pour one out. I just remembered that Chip is a guilty use drive. <laughs> just remembered Chip exists. <laughs> Y'all hear about Chip? Lone uh, Rector saying, yeah, Geo got buffed and it's pretty annoying with her vortex loops. Um, Geo has been perpetually buffed and she's still not not great. I get to ignore a lot of that character. <laughs> Which is cool. I'm a huge fan of that. One thing I'll say is that Geo players always seem to be the most matchup knowledgeable. Like, every time I fight a decent Geo player, they have tech for that matchup specifically, which is terrifying. Like, you're like, oh no, they really know what I'm doing. You might still win, but like, they have a very clear view of what the matchup is. All right, looks like we got Squidge Luke in here. Eh, no, not like this. Don't tell me what? that's real. Did you see it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. In a in a turn nobody expected, we get to see Chip versus Happy Chaos. <laughs> this isn't real. What? Squidge was playing uh, Happy Chaos earlier. Was he? No, I'm thinking I think. of wrong character, wrong person. Are you thinking, thinking of Honored Ogre? Thinking of Sneed. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> if Sneed brings up the happy chaos, yeah, I, I Okay. They better bury me, bro. So, um, pro tip, if somebody else has the same first letter of their tag as you, change your tag. You'll confuse every caster you ever see. Or me. You'll confuse Not me, me. I'm just kinda different. Speaking of confusion, good god, water really getting in the chip corner mix-ups there. I can't block him, but people who really train the chip matchup know exactly where he's going every time he disappears, which is incredible to me. Uh, it, it is so mentally taxing to me to even try to defend chip just because uh, I'm an old man and I blink and chip disappears from the screen. He's got like some weird ambiguity whenever he leaves the ground. Which makes it kind of hard to be to react to like get every time, but oh man, and this is over wow. in a flash. Yeah, but like even Squidge Luke isn't blocking that stuff. And if you ask a chip player, they'll say, "Oh yeah, that's the most reactable thing in the entire world." 
Uh, second fun fact, uh, I I've never jumped or ba or done anything to chip command grab. I can't it's see it. All right, chip command grab is unpunishable. Actually, he, go he goes and then uh, a leaf appears for a frame and then I explode. Even if you jump it, he recovers so fast Ooh. that you're not punishing it. Nice I love when I there. see chips uh, punish landings with command grab. That is terrifying to me. Also, meaty command grab, you can't jump it, you can't backdash it. It breaks all the rules of throws in this game. <laughs> but, Happy Chaos gets to do this. Yeah. So, I'm gonna be Lord, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> no, not quite a safe jump. And Happy Chaos players will downplay that 6P, but it is good. It is really good. <laughs> the old headbutt, the old noggin joggin. I mean, we see right, th this is the matchup in a nutshell. Like, the moment Squidge can really apply Happy Chaos pressure, Chip is just gonna fold. He really cannot afford to get hit once, but uh, provided he can stop Happy Chaos from getting the gun out, Chip is really in the uh, the lead here. He's in the driver's seat. Water oh my god, boot to the head. Now. Yeah. I'm using that meter, very effective, but Squidge is getting a burst, and Water is gonna have an uphill battle to get in here. And the health bars are evened up. <laughs> but that 2k there. Fortunately, you can't really get anything off of meterless 6k, but Chip is never meterless for long. Yeah, this top Luke really not getting blown up by any huge counter hits here, but just the, the repeated overheads really opening him up. You know, you block five or six seconds, but... Only yeah, one and oh my god. <laughs> they'll say, they'll say, it's reactable. No, it's... Look at Squidge Luke get hit by it. It's not, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's, you know... I believe them, but it, it's it's in the it's in the um, realm of technically reactable, like a lot of characters mix, where it's like, yeah, it is, but they're gonna represent four or five other things, so it's uh, nothing. It, it mental stacks you to death. <laughs> nothing makes me feel more justified about getting hit by stuff than seeing like a top player get hit by it. it makes me feel so much better about it. <laughs> like, uh, um, watching watching Leffen get hit by uh, Latif's tap dust, I'm like, yeah. It's not my fault. I'm not bad. It's <laughs> it's unblockable. Hotashi uploaded his uh, TNS run, and in the very uh, beginning match, he's playing a Bridget, and uh, my roommate, your TO, Ridley, was really having trouble uh, blocking a Bridget earlier. I was like, oh, study this defense. I think Hotashi's you know, defense is worth looking at for you, for you here. There's, there's some things you should pick up. And then he just messages me back, like, gets hit by the exact same shit I do, gets counter hit mashing. I'm just like, Hotashi, for real, for real. Like, for real. <laughs> I'm like, I guess that's the lesson you could take. Bridget is, uh, Bridget's tough to block, I'll say that. That, the RC 50-50 is ridiculous. That's pretty miserable, the, the F at RC. Oh, wow. PRC out of the overhead there and picks up off it. Yeah, that was crazy. All right, so both characters are one hit. Punish, but... <laughs> <laughs> what I say? That roll. Oh man. Yeah, what but pushes the gun. Water just moving very, very well here. But that move, yeah. Squidge tried to 6P it and it doesn't work because that's not how it works. <laughs> that move is anti anti air. That's that's a uh, chip capel. <laughs> and look at this. This is he spent one bar here, and that and was look a at the meter tax as well. Like Squidge Luke is forced to waste so much meter trying to FB out of this that uh, you know when things finally turn around. <laughs> that was a still not one, one bar hit, build. two shots, twenty five percent. Actually, over here, but the meter. Oh my god! Squidge really getting opened up by a diagonal alpha. Oh, there's the beta blade. Oh no! If it I works, think it that works. Is firstable, but clearly I'm wrong. Oh, I would. The thing is, uh, how prolonged this pressure is, despite how much IBFDing Squidge Luke is doing, that is super tough to do. I know all the soul players are watching this crying right now. <laughs> Your pressure doesn't just end after the IBFD once. What? What do you mean? <laughs> It's also crazy how long these rounds are going because you'd, you'd expect this to be very explosive uh, either way, but the defense is decently strong on both sides, barring that first round where Chip really got to go nuts. 
Both of these characters just also have such like long block strings that no matter how much neutral they play, you have to. There's like a 15 second intermission of mids before the next mix happens. Here, let me let me consult my table of synonyms. Uh, they have renegade and subversive offense. <laughs> is that uh, is that doing anything for you? But like, here's this. Like, there's not an incredible amount of mix in that block string, but it lasted for a while, and that was mid screen. This is gonna kill, by the way. Yeah, this kills. Oh, oh not it doesn't quite. go for Deus. I think it's Deus Ex Machina, but yeah, Heavy Cause has that. Nice advantage of if your opponent's at around one health, they're dead. Ridley Prime telling me that Renegade and Subversive Offense is really not doing anything for him. Tough. I'll uh. try again later. 60% <laughs> of Squidge Luke's health gone in the blink of an eye there and forced to get into the corner. Get ready for the infinite block string. Yeah, and that's that command, the unpunishable command grab. He did RC, but he wasn't going to get punished if he did an RC. And that killed. Tip has some I, I weird agree. existence scaling in some parts of his combos. Like if you ever get that combo that runs you up the wall, it's just does so much damage no matter what the starter was. It's hilarious that he has a full like wall move set and it just gets used for like the one combo. The one combo. And this is this is probably dead. Maybe not instantly dead, but. It's the play that leads to being dead without a doubt, but Burst is still on the board for both sides here. Oh, tries to go for a bit of mix there and gets six feet out of it, and now the life totals are even. Yeah, incredibly quick. Uh, Water has had more time with positive bonus, so built a bit more bar, but waste, or not waste it, but uses it in blue RC there to not too much effect. And a wire C as well, no more bar for water. Okay, watching Squidge Luke get hit by the watching Squidge Luke get hit by the air alpha blade makes me makes me feel better about getting hit by it constantly. <laughs> but very very strong chip gameplay from Water there. Yeah, it's so scary. Like you see, you really just do not have to make many mistakes for a chip player to really go nuts. You honestly and, have to you know, make one. It, <laughs> Yeah, it changes the definition of what a mistake is. You're like, surely I can whiff one low commitment button. That's like, well, that might be low commitment against a uh, soul. It's not low commitment against ship. You press 2K full screen and you're dead. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, you moron. You fool. You, you fool. thought you could 2K at full screen? He just moves me, so fast. Uh, he has the he has a really easy whiff punish of Ram's far slash, but all right, everyone, I'm saying this now: you can whiff punish Ram's far slash if you think you can. Boo, you can. Boo this man! You can get him out of here. <laughs> this booth stink. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my court mandated downplaying. I mean, there's been a lot of argument about whiff punishing lately, like what it is and what counts as it, which is weird because it's like, why would you argue over what counts as it? You, I think I feel like you'd really care about the effects, but um, it's a symbolist, right? Like doing posting a lot about soul 5H and like getting good combos off it and whiff punishing and people are like, oh, uh, busted. And Sim is like, you know, you can just whiff punish soul 5H too. Like I can't, I can't mash that button like a moron. Looks like we're going into losers' quarters here. Hamilton Rye versus Water One. Water One representing yeah, Zato. Bring out the Zato, which is a little interesting because if Hamilton's still on Ram, Zato has probably the worst Ram matchup in the entire game. <laughs> it is I a struggle for him to do anything there. I gotta bring this up uh, every time, but I, I always wonder who, if character switches, who they hurt more in the moment. Because it's like, are you mixing up your opponent who expected a certain thing and like has to reevaluate their game plan? Or are you mixing up your own hands more? Like, I, I have full faith here that, you know, Wada can uh, readapt to the Zato after previously not playing him, but it's like, do you really want to risk taking a, a round or two to reassess things uh, this deep into a tournament? I know Water was playing Zato in pools of some, at least mm. some, probably most of pools, honestly. Or at least a lot of pools, but 
<laughs> They're definitely more than proficient enough on that Zato. I can uh, proudly announce our full top eight now, actually. Uh, we have SQ, Mike Saftig, Jack, and Hamilton Rye, who you're familiar with. Uh, Squid Luke and Water One, who you just saw playing. And Lolo and Sneed Chungus snuck on in. And Hamilton is going to be on the soul here. It's uh, not wanting the ram into the Zato. Although, to be fair, I'm sure Water has played against countless rams on the Zato. And I definitely can beat me. <laughs> has beaten me. So... Oh. Look at Maybe. that, I mean, right there, that Eddie control is why I get so grumpy about um, how short he takes to come back, because it's like, Zotra players will do really cool stuff with unsummon, resummon, uh, and yet they just don't necessarily have to. That's a, um, a Jonathan Tene Latif thing that I think uh, every Zato player started doing recently, is just using the opposed Drunkard Shade unsummon. That was a cool combo. That it's was actually brutal. a really cool combo. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily it's... mix you up in terms of getting hit, but it, it, it mixes up your reactions, which is uh, can be just as effective. I mean, I'm sure we've all been mixed up by Happy Chaos with 5D, right? It's it's something that begs a response, and, and it begs a fast one as well, but, you know, a smart player can take advantage of that. It's not even that it mixes you up, it's that it's just such a strong neutral tool because Eddie controls so much of the screen there. And yeah, these unsummons from water are very strong, but even when he gets it hit, it's back already. Yeah, that's what can be so tricky, especially given uh, Zato being uh, decently fast and can put you in a block string at the end of his pressure to stall out the Eddie gauge a bit. Oh, nice 2k there. Anti-airing there. <laughs> And getting the Eddie back just in time for this block string. N nice YRC, get out of the unblockable. I mean, it's a good job, right? Like, you want to use your uh, defensive mechanics when Eddie is out so that you can banish him. But, of course, Soul wants his meter around to get those giant conversions. Yeah, but Hamilton just kind of takes it out of nowhere. Nice use of the flight there. It's so, so hard to brutal. deal with that. I might need the syn synonym list for that one, but yeah, Zato <laughs> flying right above your head. I mean, that's that's a mash 5P scenario in my mind. Yeah, that first always feels bad because it's right at the end of the combo. I love that little bit of game plan right there from Water. The uh, invite hell, invite hell into oppose. Woo! Because, like, you'd think the two invite hells would beg a response. You know, you have to get over it somehow, but oppose handles anything someone would want to do upon getting in on you. Oppose is just such a strong tool in general. It's it's just better Happy Chaos clone. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. You know, the people won't and tell you this. Happy uh, Chaos Oppose clone is, is good. <laughs> ridiculous on its own. It is funny. I mean, it's something you'd you'd expect to see on a zoning character. Well, Zato can definitely do his fair share of zoning, but he's definitely definitely does not fit nicely into an archetype besides puppet character <laughs> yeah but yeah it's, it's it's very interesting how he gets access to his puppetry and how he how he has to mix his little game plan like that oh wow cannot believe that burst didn't connect that's a cool combo yeah uh, zato the, the high elf, elf altitude burst again uh, zato just looks cool i don't know i love eddie like <laughs> that's, they re whoever animated Eddie, that guy needs a raise. Animated, did it perfectly. Like if you look at some of the old games, or like if you look at Exert and you look at Plus R and you look at Eddie, mainly Exert. Plus R Eddie has a different vibe, but he looks cool. But if you look at Exert Eddie and you look at Strive Eddie, it's just what were they even thinking? Exert, <laughs> he looks so What's good the, in this uh, game. The the command grab is damned Fang, right? Yes. Like, looking at old Damned Fang and the animation for that and how whack it is compared to this one. I love the sound effect for Damned Fang. Yeah, there it is. Are you are you in chat right now? Did you did you hear us calling for the command grab? <laughs> He's listening. Oh, it doesn't kill, but Rai holding on by a single pixel. Gonna need to FD everything. Well, that's oh, not FD, man. but it'll work. And there's the backdash, backdash, pierce. The Zato classic. 
Just run away until you can get Eddie out. Hey, when it works, it works, but uh, it can certainly be a frustrating play style to deal with, especially given given flight, right? Like, that is a good movement system to have access to if you want to stall things out. Oh, Lone Rifter is right. He was Eddie in Plus R because Zato was dead, and then he got revived because Guilty Gear's story makes sense. <laughs> That's, you know, that's pretty straightforward. And that's, I mean, that's the source of the sad, uh, oh, let me, let me carve your way line that makes everyone cry. Cause he, he can't really feel or remember anything. And he was not a very good man in his past life. And, you know, he wakes up revived and everyone tells him he's a murderer and, a, and an assassin. He's like, damn, that's tough. But I love how they made Eddie goofy in this game. He's so funny looking. It's just, Top tier character design. Nice back dash on that close slash. Again, nice back dash, but my, uh, Hamilton oh getting my the God. sold back dash. I punishes. got opened up by that 2D. <laughs> Dude, I oh would have been God. I would have been dead already. So I don't even. None of this mix would have applied to me. <laughs> I think Bandit Bringer clashed with drills and then maybe got eaten by a pose afterwards. That was a very weird connect there. Bandit Bringer really not doing the work Hamilton wants it to in getting over Eddie here because uh, Water is just so ready. Yeah, and that run up tap dust is so hard to block. <laughs> it's potent, and if you block the first one, another one's coming. It's more mix afterwards. You really can't ever let Eddie exist. <laughs> it is and funny to me, like, really Dr. players, uh, I think, like to accuse people of not knowing the matchup, and it's like. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Possibly a drop. We'll see how things go here. If we hear from old, old Hamilton Rye, possibly just a hilarious Strive Online issue. But yeah, I was saying, like, Zata, I feel like Zata players get grumpy because people won't learn the matchup, but it's like, hey man, even if I learn the matchup, Drill 5D's hitting me. Like, what? Well, you know, there's a limited, there's only so much I can learn, and then that's still gonna, you know, beat me up. Uh, okay, looks like we had an unfortunate disconnect here. Yeah, uh, online tournaments with the current state of Strive's netcode is a little bit of a, a challenge, but... It's so tough, man. I mean, like, it, it, I always say it's messed up that Strive has the best online experience and it's still this bad. Honestly, honestly, the best online experience is melee right now. <laughs> that the best community online experience made... plus R. <laughs> uh, that community made netcode in melee is just so so nice to play on. It always feels good. I mean, I that's just any good uh, melee, but <laughs> that's like built off of emulated melee, right? Yeah, no, it's off of an emulator for the Wii, which runs its own emulated GameCube inside of it. So it's a I little, no... um, it's a little interesting. All right. Yeah, looks I have like... no idea how you would even implement role. I think it's like you need the ability to emulate frame by frame to implement rollback into things. I have no idea how they did it. I'm just glad they did it. <laughs> Having Having good online is such an important part of so of fighting games now, especially with COVID happening a few years, or I guess I don't even know what time, what year it is anymore. But but the whole COVID thing and Strive what coming out just it? in time. <laughs> Mankind knew that they can. But yeah, the rollback is just. Instead of reflecting on themselves really nice to have yeah we got xsq versus sneed chungus here and let's see what sneed chungus does i think a lot of people would say that this matchup is uh maybe even hopeless but a lot of people would say sin is a hopeless character and sneed has brought them this far oh unfortunate drop from both players <laughs> bit of a bit of a top eight scramble oh my god very aggressive burst getting there, the gold burst chip can definitely take advantage of it you're chip you don't need access oh my to god. defensive mechanics you're this fine not quite, not quite, not quite. This, this does. Little. And hit the, hit the sweet spot. Oh my god. What happens when you play chip? I imagine an SQ's like, damn, if only I had access to my burst right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whiffing that Rekka, but we see that uh, Sneed is scared to even punish it on Whiff because of how potent it can be. Yeah, and oh, Sneed getting a nice mash there. But that throw. Oh, um, 
The run up throw, or I don't even know what that, the follow up's called. Gazelle step. Gazelle step. Oh my god, he's dead. Yeah. Call an ambulance. Wait, what is Sin's? Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at Dustin real fast. I was on my, I was, I was feeling good about myself. I, I rarely know uh, move names except for certain characters. <laughs> so Ooh, he's back on the elk hunt. Uh, gazelle step in. Elk hunt is the uh, the low one. I always get it mixed up and I say elk step, but. Well, and then there's hoof stomp too. Dude, who named this guy's moves? They <laughs> rule. They're the, the same person who named uh, all of Ram's moves in Esperanto. <laughs> oh, great defense there from Yeah, Sneak. really nice tech. I would not have expected the throw, but that's why I would have been opened up. That's why, that's why I'm not playing. <laughs> that's why you're on the caster desk and not yeah. in top eight. <laughs> really I'm nice really movement there from SQ. Oh. Nice first bait and SQ taking it. I'm really interested in these full screen stops from Sneed. I wonder if they are a preempt on chip running in, but I would think, well, I guess maybe 2S or, or Sin's other long buttons might feel too committal, whereas, you know, the the plus low, if, if chip happens to run into that, would be great for Sin. I mean, since uh, 6K goes a lot farther than his foot, it actually goes to the end of where the smoke is. Oh, or it's steps. Geo 2D? Yeah, it's huge. That's cool. That's a very yeah, interesting when he does it, next time he does it, uh, just take a look at where the smoke ends, and that's how far it goes. Yeah, that would have gone to the corner there. That move is definitely pretty conservative with stamina throughout that pressure, you know, working back up to three bars here. Oh, I think this is going to wall break at this range, though. This is this is chip. But Sin having the DP RC is very nice to have in this uh, situation. That's something you, you can feel the, you know, skill radiating off uh, SQ in those situations, right? Of like just being very ready with the confirm into super off of uh, almost any hit. Yeah, just the like. Because SQ has not been on chip for that long, but just the speed at which she picked this up is kind of crazy. And there's another super. And you know, the speed with which Sin dies. <laughs> yeah, Chip definitely has a lot going for him. As much as I want to root for a Michigander, I find myself rooting for a Sin main to you uh, root come for the here and playing the lower. Yeah. Or the, you got to root for the person playing the lower tier. That's how fighting game tournaments have always worked. As <laughs> Oh, getting opened up there by the low. Into death? No. Not quite, not quite. Close enough. Sin what has three hits. Oh, oh that not working out again. That is so odd. Is an that unfortunate a mistake there. Or, I, I don't know if you can do anything to alter that because I get nailed by that all the time, yeah. but I don't know what sort of micro spacing is happening to make that throw whiff uh, three times I now. I've never seen Sneed whiff that before, and now I've seen him whiff it three times, so definitely something going on there. You have to imagine they didn't expect to whiff it either, otherwise they wouldn't have done it three times. It's <laughs> possibly a, a, a weird effect of the chip matchup, or may, maybe I need to run back the footage and look at the Oh, connects. Sneed switched to Kai. So, oh, word? Yeah, if I, giving up on the bottom tier for now. I don't see if. Oh, wow. can't see. Can't even whip a two P. As good at Abari as that is. Oh, looks to get the pressure going with the Pujar. Yes. That's tough. Yeah, the only thing you get off of uh, Scum Dipper is uh, you get you get a meaty five K that can be backdashed out of. But of course, there's RPS around there. Oh, I think SQ trying to burst bait there. It's the. What, what is with these throw whiffs? There's Are they so hot many. fixing the uh, throw hit boxes? Are they altering <laughs> the game under our feet? <laughs> That's what the disconnect was. They're changing the throw <laughs> hit boxes. Daisuke! Wow, it's nice five for you there. A great oh, unfortunate drop on the whiff or burst bait. No oh, check on Peter no, yet, but the... we see it not connecting several times. The stun dipper not connecting there is a little unfortunate. But SQ with no meter here doesn't get to keep doing chip things for very long. And there's the Stun Dipper into the combo. And this is where Kai really shines. Doing a lot of damage you, off of... You can be very creative with your pressure off of uh, charged uh, Stun Edge. 
and or even knockdown kai actually has a lot of options on that uh a lot of Kai players don't represent them all because you don't have to, and you know they're they're on a spectrum of fakeness. But uh, I think he's cooler than people give him credit for. I like that character. He definitely has some sauce. Yes, need for sticking with the Kai. I, I love mean, it when people are like level four or five thousand on their character, and then they just have the default uh, like badges next to it, or they still have the floor ten one. <laughs> That's me, dude. I played too much TF2 as a kid, so now I play with the default skin on everybody. <laughs> yeah, you gotta burst that. Oh, the, the charge stun edge. Letting him get away with the charge stun edge here. All right, let's see the corner pressure. This is where Kai shines. Using to do no corner pressure, instead trying to catch the run out. But SQ just being patient and putting Sneed in the corner now. But that stun dipper is so potent. Five frames of pain. Watch your toes. And there's that 2D. You can't wit. You cannot whip anything against this character. Yeah, what a struggle. It's like you try to preempt watched, running out of stuff. I watched SQ jump there. And then Steed got thrown. I don't understand this game. <laughs> I blinked. It was over. Oh my god, another 2D. Oh, that Break an ankle left good. and right. Yeah, like you try to preempt Chip, but because that character's. Or so fast, you you have to preempt like way in advance, but that just means you're more susceptible to getting whip punished. Oh, and chip happened. <laughs> yeah, another so, great confirm anyway, there. Let's do the next round. <laughs> er, Come on, Doran. You can, uh, you you can get a DP. Oh, nice job holding that burst. Here. Yeah, SQ trying a little too hard to burst that, bait that burst here. Oh and no. Six feet. Boot to oh, the head and the, the kills! Standing overhead, SQ going on to losers semis here against Water 1. Yeah. And I'm curious who Water 1's gonna play. Because we've seen him on two different characters in this top 8. But I don't want to see a chip mirror. <laughs> I don't me. even know how I'd cast that. There'd be men teleporting, Dude. shadow clone jutsu in, throwing all manner of we, gang we, signs. We would have to like put the stream on 0.5 speed for us to even have a chance at casting it. Yeah, I would need to bring in some sort of quantum physics expert <laughs> to uh, you know, observe the speed of light particles. We'll have him play it off stream and we'll cast the VOD at half speed. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning too, you know, I'll need I'll, I'll need a cup of coffee to be ready for this. This is uh, a high, high demanding gameplay. Probably more demanding than the Happy Chaos Mirror. I, I find myself really struggling to cast that one. I'm like, yeah, they are just shooting just the hell shooting out of each, each other. other. <laughs> Those boys came to shoot. Water on the Zato here. This is actually a matchup I think is pretty okay for Zato because he has very high damage and very good neutral, which are the two things Chip does not like to see. And he also is one of the more difficult characters to whiff punish when he has Eddie out. Oh, unfortunately not getting the frog pick up there. That is comically hard to do. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing Zato players complain about is like, you know, they have pretty decent damage, but it's, it's not enough damage to give their opponent no chance. And so, but against Chip, it might be, and you know, that, that's the great strength there. You only really need the one big mix. It's like two tap dust and Chip's dead. Yeah. And oh my god. Super deep jumping, catch me right in the ankle. Six feet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe uh, it's too good. <laughs> anti or drills, jumping a little low. That's oh, crazy too, like not even bothering with command grab when it poses out and just going for the drunkard shade hit. Oh, break the law! Oh, that was crazy. He went same side there and SQ got thoroughly mixed. Especially on this map, like trying to track the shadow across the ground here. It's so difficult to even keep an eye on it. You just kind of do have to guess. I can't believe that didn't kill. Yeah, I utilize the power of prayer. And SQ is running low on meter, and the run up tap dust, it gets everyone. Uh, happy, happy Ramadan gamers. Inshallah, I will block this mix. 
<laughs> while are you carried while are you carried <laughs> Dude, that is my Loki. favorite oh my god he's so funny uh were you, did you watch strive top eight at frosty uh i caught bits or, of it but not live uh when latif shows up showed up on stage he turns around and he screams by far and it was the greatest thing ever uh, by the way, uh, get ready to call your main. Ram is back in action. There you go. She did it. Yes. Much love. Yeah, this matchup here, here is. Here I am cheering for a Ram player. It's it's not the Lord of the Rings. For Zato. <laughs> Never thought oh, I'd see myself back, fighting side by side with a Ram player. <laughs> and water is unfazed by the character change. Oh, there we go. Now <laughs> that's the Ram player I wanted to see. So, Eddie has a fun interaction with Mortobato. Nice burst bait. That was crazy good. But choosing to not combo there and yeah, no huge damage. But these 6Ps are very good. And that's dead. And Water is not even scared of the Ramlethal. I was going to say, like, SQ manages to escape the corner there, but gets, you know, counter hit for her troubles, then forced back on the corner and dead. I think I do think Water has spent half of his Strive career playing this matchup, so <laughs> I don't know if there's many people better at it than him, honestly. Because every time I see him in Celestial, he's against a Ram player. <laughs> Look at that, running up and then just blocking oh, by hell. Such a cool combo he bursted. That would have uh, side switched and put him in the corner. Is that the one that builds three trillion meter? Uh, that's the, it's the starter, but that one's like really unoptimal. But that would have side switched and put water in the corner. Oh, uh, can you see his health bar? Uh, can you can you help me out? He is one unefted special move away from death. He is actually at one HP. Throw swords. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, hit windshield wipers. This is scary. But oh, break the wall! Oh my god, that was nasty. But SQ just going for the throw there. Good call, honestly, and she got hit by the mix, too. Yeah, but water is just a little low there to do anything. SQ utilizing, you know, Ram's good air normals and movement to snipe Eddie there. Also, I gotta say, if SQ loses this, the amount of downplaying that is about to come out of my mouth is gonna be unbelievable. You can feel it welling up inside <laughs> you. Charging. Oh, and back into the corner, no, smothered by water. There. And... That's water taking game two against the Ramlethal. It's Shark Week, baby. You're drowning. All right, where's the downplay? Let's see it. Come on. Oh, uh, SQ need a game to warm up. We got, we got one. We got, we got at least another game. Okay, all right. Okay. Before the downplay. Well, that's not downplay. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I do wonder about tough, that. Yeah. The the full game plan switcheroonie. I mean. It can be handy to maybe main characters who have similar stuff, but like, I find myself Whoa, having what? different uh, input shortcuts per character. Wow. Oh that my makes... god. Nobody blocked that. Nobody blocked that. SQ did, but then just got grabbed for her troubles anyways. She blocked it and she still didn't even block it. <laughs> she got hit <laughs> once. <laughs> I hate blocking and then I don't even block. That is that uh, empty jump low with the drills covering is actually so hard to block and water taking me perfect here and on set point it is crazy how comfy water is getting with these break the law mix-ups it's just crazy how comfortable water looks in general on this character like it's it's very reminiscent of watching jack play just with how fluid everything seems to be controlled that is a disgusting mix and every character gets to do that and the meter's back and he could come out at oh, any no, time this, this could this could be dead though very soon this this could be dead oh as you get the meter yeah and the 6p and water taking it all right bottom five ram with ram with all's bottom five it's official. All right, thank, there it is there's <laughs> the down let it let it all out i know you'll feel better <laughs> No, that's the best part about watching SQ is if SQ wins, it's like, yeah, SQ won because SQ's cool. But then if SQ loses, it's like, oh, man, I guess the character's bad. <laughs> You're like, oh, these these carried Zato mains. I'm an honest Ramlethal player <laughs> down here in the Ramlethal mines.
All right, out here in Losers Finals, Mike Safdick looking for the run back against Jack versus Water, who we've seen make it a long way through Losers. Yeah, Water's oh. been in Losers for a while. Let me, let me go where you, you cast. Let me go check where they uh, dropped down. They they lost to Vega. Oh! <laughs> yeah, because uh, he, was, he was bragging about that. Definitely a big kill. Oh my god! Water went to losers in uh, round two. Yeah, and here they are in losers finals against Mike Saftig. So they've had quite the run here, but Mike is just swinging. And yeah, Mike's looking here. to bring it all to an end. Oh my god. Grab nice the start of both uh, Clock, I believe. Oh, I no. can't believe that connected. The, uh, Eddie, the Eddie hitbox extension got water there. Shouldn't have been clapping. All right, you're now in the corner. Uh, you'd have to guess a miss input, or maybe, maybe you know, sometimes you just gotta let them know. Oh my God, two D out from that range. That's one way to beat six P. And we're here, corner to corner. Oh, Area. This is so oh, burst bait. That's dead. Oh, no, the wall damage was a little too high. Water with the meter has a shot of doing something here. Nice Great conversion, conversion off the JP. Like sting and the. Uh, uh, no, I know this name. I know this. I know this. I move. believe in you. Bandit bringer. Yes. It's the one where he yells bandit bringer and not the one where he yells bandit revolver. Half of his move. And it looks exactly like Fafnir. So <laughs> like they got to make it a little easier to remember this stuff. <laughs> no joke. Like I get mixed up too about like which bandit is which. And then I just remember that he yells bringer on the <laughs> bandit bringer. I tr like truly that's how I remember it in my head. Yeah, well, Soul does try and make it easy by screaming his moves at full volume, but <laughs> I'm a little forgetful. That's what uh, Ridley was talking today. He thinks uh, Kai, Soul, and Biken are the only characters who get the like ridiculous screams on the uh, like game ending uh, special moves. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. I guess probably Sin as well. Oh yeah, but Sin, Sin screams all the time. <laughs> Sin's just screaming the whole game. Whether he's By the way, loving uh, Mike playing Soul Neutral out here uh, knows to stand just a pixel outside of Invite Hell Range, not get stalled out by Zato and put in some whack pressure. The gun flame, also Mike also just slaughtering Eddie every time he shows up on the screen, but using gun flame so effectively here. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we talked about the uh, amazing Abari tools Soul has earlier, but not everyone is able to put those to his great effect. It's like the ability to just find Eddie and you know access your quickest move to put him down and not put yourself in danger is a, a real skill in this matchup. No Eddie snipe oh, there. The hitbox on there. Pierce goes far. Eddie gone and Mike fights out of the corner. Nice, nice movement from both players there. Oh, but Eddie out. Mike is gonna push up here, but Water just backing off, getting negative penalty actually. <laughs> One and invite hell, and Eddie is back. Really, very, very good patience there from Water. Hit him with the Amogus. Uh, we have some Mike fans in chat, just loving to see a, a soul bad guy schmoving on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Michelangelo Safdig, who I believe painted the ceiling of the uh, Sistine Chapel. And water adapting very, very fast to that gun flame and using that oppose so well. But in the most sole player move I've ever seen, Bandit Bringer into Volcanic Viper. Very nice backdash there. And starting this pressure, blocking that is so difficult. Getting hit by the JD. Uh, nobody blocked that. That's actually so. That's actually unblockable. It's so hard to block. It's not gonna kill, but enjoy your hard knockdown right back into Eddie pressure. You have yeah, YRC, so the if that's... Oh, man. And that's a really skilled move there swinging. from Water. Like, hitting Tap Dust at very max range to make sure that you're safe from the YRC if they choose to kill Eddie. So tough. It's your, your Eddie is giving Water strength over there. He's clapping it up. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we probably gotta change rooms. I'm buffing him too much. <laughs> the power, yeah. If, if let me carve your way comes on, I mean he's getting <laughs> plus over on everything. Eddie will just Eddie will become invincible <laughs> and never go Golden away. Eddie. Bit of air neutral here. 
Yeah. Like a real anime game. Oh, oh my god, hit by the very down. last lingering hitbox of drills. Oh, Frog going the wrong way. Eddie, Eddie likes to be a bit of a traitor sometimes and just run away. I think you might using uh, Soul's air movement very trickily, using both bandits right above your head. Yeah, Mike is just avoiding these anti-airs here, but that JH is super good. That's a funny thing to see, like most people accuse Optomains of uh, stalling when Eddie is dead. Mike's out here saying, hey man, I'll stall when Eddie's up. I'll wait until the bar is down and then I'll come down to the ground. We we both have fly. It's, it's just like, I don't know, it's so funny watching one of these characters fly around and the other one just whiff a, like four different anti-airs trying to hit him down. <laughs> hey, you gotta go meet him uh, air to air, I think. Or send Frog up there to get him. Another amp empty jump low. There's that mix that was getting SQ so much. There's the Mike special, the cross up bandit. And look at this damage. Yeah, water having to burst here. Oh, Mike going for a very risky burst, getting punished and, and for it. And he's back immediately off a of sword super. <laughs> and uh, it wouldn't be a soul bad guy player if he didn't volcanic viper. You're never mind this. <laughs> Oh, 6p whip into 6p, it's a true combo! <laughs> but That's a Soul JS kill. is a hell of a button. Yeah, Soul has... Soul has definitely got some good stuff. That boy's got the plus frames, that's all you need. Plus frames in a dream. And it Mike being up 2-1 here, we might see a rematch in Grand Finals. Uh, getting to be a more and more common sight of Jack just waiting in Grand Finals. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they're, they're up there hand-warming or if they're watching the stream and trying to uh, take the temperature of their opponents. Honestly, if I was a happy cast player, I'd be in the practice tool doing guard or doing the two-frame links, doing the guard crush loops, just make sure I don't get, make sure it's all down. But... Doing the swaggy stuff for tournaments. Oh my god! <laughs> Kara wild throw, or maybe just dash momentum wild throw. Ah, Eddie really killed nice, the law. Uh, is break broken. the law there. Break the law is one of my favorite moves in this entire game. It's just so cool aesthetically and He's like so creative with it too. I think it's really one of the big things that makes Zato as cool as he is. Oh man, PRC stops the bandit. Yeah, really good RC there. Really good reaction to that clash. But Mike with, does not care about a pose and will run up throw. And this is now on loser's finals point. Mike on set here. Can he run back the Happy Chaos matchup? What has he learned? Oh, well, he's seen a pose before, and he is unimpressed. <laughs> and Mike just showing so much patience that you never really do expect from a soul player, but Mike is pretty good at getting I mean, both. Even if his buttons can't hit you from where he's standing, he's standing in a range that makes you take risks, and that's, I, you know, if that ain't neutral, I don't know what is. Oh, getting clipped by the drills there. Getting clipped by the drills a couple again. Times, yeah. Water just using the Eddie zoning so effectively. Running out of Eddie right as he got the hit, though. But here's He's the corner mix. Super, but Mike has a lot of meter and burst on deck. And Mike bursting early, wanting to close it out. No. That was, no, that was, that was gross. Because, okay, I can tell you exactly what happened. Water was like, oh, he RC'd. I'm going to throw He's tech. He's going to grab me, yeah. yeah. I always just backdash that. <laughs> you probably would have gotten hit, too. That move is so fast. For sure, yep. Oh, oh, we finally see the other under. side mix up. Is this kill? Or I don't know if he can pick up here. Oh, not quite, but yeah. No, you're not blocking that. <laughs> yeah, who is? Double if Zato mix ever up? does JD against you, you're dead. You're not blocking that. You're just like, I let go of the controller. I might have to go back and practice some Zato. This looks, he's making this character look fun again. That was a very interesting connect too. You know, knocking soul to the other side of you and picking up off that. The opposed, they're really interfering with Gunflame and, you know, Mike obviously not wanting to throw out too many of them, becoming predictable. Oh, Frog not connecting! <laughs> Eddie being an absolute traitor there and going the wrong way. He's out of Eddie. Alright, Eddie's back. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly Alright, he's out of uh, Eddie. Alright, Eddie's back. <laughs> Look at that, with three, four backdashes. You were just draining your bar, brother. Water. Oh no! Oh no! 
A punish backdash into the burst and that kills! That Volcanic Viper doing so much damage, and Mike is gonna get the rematch against Jack. <laughs> Alright, I, I wonder if Mike is feeling confident on Soul in that matchup, or if he's gonna go over and uh, make me cast the mirror. Does he love me or not? <laughs> uh, you gotta do the, you gotta take the, the yipe strategy of casting Happy Chaos and just screaming bang every time he shoots the gun. I Definitely can't yipes. Sense. Every commentator wants to be yipes. There's like <laughs> 400 of us. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have the vocal cords to be yipes. I don't think I've ever seen him not scream. <laughs> I heard uh, Ridley watching the It's Marvel Baby uh, clip the other day, and I just said, Ooh, Hagatas from the kitchen. <laughs> it's like fully from another room. I heard the, the faint strains of Marvel. And Mike being on the soul here, but Jack, yeah, Jack is level six thousand with the starter uh, badges. I don't know. I, I changed. It. I changed. And on uh, is that a space HP, right? Yep. <laughs> Jack has never looked at a setting in this game in his life. <laughs> that said, you know, grand finals here. Uh, we're in a rematch. Oh. Jack has won this before, but Jack has been up here cooling his hands, whereas Mike is on a bit of a hot streak. Yeah. Mike's been playing for a while. Well, Mike has had, had to wait, too, in Losers Finals. But Mike at least had a warm-up game, and Jack's been just chilling. That said, happy cast damage comes for us all. Ooh, what pressure. Oh, unfortunately, the close left's going the wrong way. He's playing Milia out here, the left <laughs> right. Uh, Ritz it all with the 6H. I think that's going to kill him. Oh, uh, I didn't catch it. Yeah, that definitely kills. <laughs> I didn't see how much health he had, but yeah. And Jack I showing that, that was no matter how long he has to wait. And uh, a misinput 6H, I don't know. That was certainly pretty risky, but could have been trying to preempt something from HC. Or perhaps just trying to catch him in the, at the ready and not blocking. And this, it's such intense neutral for a matchup that really feels like it shouldn't have this m intensive neutral because happy chaos is neutral is just so dominant but i mean like i said uh, we've accused we've accused both of these players of being a filthy neutral enthusiast before uh mike of course being able to stand in uh very correct spots and jack being willing to chill out with the gun out and try to whip punish you I don't know, what are these guys doing? Blocking? Playing neutral? What kind of game are they playing? Uh, this is this? Guilty Gear. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. <laughs> you should be running at each other. There should be significantly more air throws. You're not actually playing Guilty Gear. They're trying to play Street Fighter. Go back to your two, or go back to your non-anime fighter games. Yeah, boo. Go play Super Turbo. I want to see instant air dashes. <laughs> I wanted to no, see. I wanted to see footsies. I'd watch someone play chess. Hey, I'm seeing a lot of footsies. We got a happy chaos on screen. He's got both cozies hey, out. <laughs> all, all of the dogs are out. <laughs> the junkyard dog as well. <laughs> That's great. so. Jack is normally so scary uh, on defense as well that I predicted he would just chill out and block Mike for a while, but he was unwilling to and blow that burst, uh, you know, to, to get himself out of the corner. Yeah, mainly just trying to keep momentum there with that burst, because yeah, uh, he really does not want Mike to even have a shot at resetting here. That's true. I mean, one wild throw could even things up real quick. Especially, uh, Happy Cast already you know down 20, 30 percent of his life bar. Oh, but the tap dust, Mike bursting. Ooh, can you be my hero, thing. baby? Can you take away the pain? Nice high beam D. Oh, Ooh, but need the bandit the face. revolver. Getting the counter hit. The meter to make this, hurt. this is crazy amounts of damage, but no wall stick. And my, Jack has meter here. What? Jack getting the... What? What kind of game am I watching? She overhead, I think, but uh, was too close to the ground, and so just landed into the throw. Yeah. Jack playing that very well to take advantage of that, but there's the the Mike special of Bandit Bringer into Bandit Bringer. <laughs> and look yeah. at that damage. Jack getting Orange health back. already for Happy Chaos. Almost with a bar here and burst on deck for Jack. Yeah, but oh God, Mike can break the bar himself bonus. if he wanted to. And yep. Mike getting sent through the wall here, getting knocked down. That's and it. Jack has people bars. 
That's 50% on Soul, who's definitely not the squishiest character in this game. Nice throw tech. Oh, the five came to our barely soul whiffing, correspondent. No uh, do you need red RC to get the overhead out of Bandit 2? But Mike? Mike or Jack is almost bringing this back. Yeah, Mike's not really getting the opportunity to uh, capture any of his bar here. Like, you have to get in range to do much of that. Yeah, probably Jack looking for another gunplay PRC situation, but Jack having so much meter means this is so difficult to deal with because he can just Mike use that focus five super. And, uh, it was terrifying to me. And Jack now almost taking this whole thing here. Jack up 2-0. Only one more match lies between him and a, a crisp $70. That is, a, that is a whole lot of uh, Arnold Palmer's and Robin. <laughs> And Mike here has to win five games if he wants to win this, while Jack only has to win one. And he has to win three in a row starting now. Yeah, he has three in a row, and then three, and then he has a whole other set to play. <laughs> and that is not how you want to start off your <laughs> down 2-0 and losers grands. Oh, Jack finally getting away with the run-up throw, uncharacteristic. Whoa. It, remember, guys, it's a bad 6P. Oh, oh Mike nice finally the there. one to block the instant overhead. <laughs> Not an easy task. Still opened up, though. And Jack going to send him through the wall here. Full bullets. But his concentration is a little low. Might just take advantage of the knockdown, but doesn't. And there's that 6A. There six, we eight. go. Nice patience there from Jack, because I know I would have bursted that, got burst baited, and died. <laughs> I really love that use of the BRC to swoosh on out of the corner. Very yeah, uh, riskless as compared to a normal air dash. Jack now on tournament point here. Mike representing the shimmy gets burst on the second hit of BB. Oh my god, rolled through the offense. Jack to a major. <laughs> That's, I'm scared of that. Jack is really out here uh, tearing up incredibly good players. It's every online tournament pretty much jack just goes and he just does so well yeah yeah hopefully he's going to something soon any one hit could do it rc's the vv to make it safe yeah. jack blocking all mike of it with mike with burst but jack getting hit here jack having full meter probably a wire c yeah right there oh my Gold gosh sending mike. it all do it again oh Oh, nice 6 on the BJS. But no One meter anymore. On either side. Oh my oh god, my god. Jack with the JP <laughs> and converting? Oh my, my god. god. Jack with the win again, sitting at the top of Grand Final, second week in a row for us, I believe. Yeah, I think or, uh, so. Second weekly in a row. We had a, a, yeah. a rookie rumble last week, but my god, what an incredible game from the champion. Yeah, and this was an even more stacked tournament than last time, and <laughs> Jack taking it again. Agreed, yeah, firmly from winner's side the, the whole time. Hold on, I have to check something. Like if he lost it all? I am, I'm seeing if he lost it all. 3-0, 3-0. Yeah, not no to lose way, a right? single match in top eight, Where's like he? that is... Three. That's yeah. some Jack behavior. didn't lose a single game this entire Stop. tournament. No Stop. way. This is a guy who's just hanging around in Celestial, <laughs> like isn't sponsored or anything, People and then... This guy to go to tournaments. <laughs> Yeah, Jack is kind of different. Also, shouts out to uh, one Danny, the uh, Kai player, uh, for picking up a passport. Hopefully about to show up to some U.S. majors. Yeah, that's what we like to see. I'm just well, shocked. He didn't drop a single game. That's, a, that's upsetting. Oh that's hard, that's hard to watch. <laughs> yeah, shouts out to uh, all of our players tonight. Thank you. you know, we, we could not do it without you guys. Uh, we would be hosting a dead empty bracket if none of you showed up so we, we appreciate you all oh wow we already already got the graphic what a yeah, what i don't a, know he is so fast with that containers like, containers the quickest to in the west baby you can't <laughs> beat him as, as fast as happy chaos gun draw is containers faster it is actually instant <laughs> yeah well mt what you got going on in your life you got anything to plug uh, I don't think I have anything right now, but I'm going to a, a big tournament my school's putting on this weekend, so that's going to be fun. 
Okay, and I'm going to be want... cast, uh, for it's a bunch of different esports stuff, but oh, cool. I'm going to be playing stri- I'm going to be playing a couple games there, but I I'm going to be casting Overwatch and that's going to be fun because I don't play Overwatch. <laughs> you know, the the fighting game, the first person fighting game truly. <laughs> so, I uh, I'm just going to start screaming colors probably like, "Oh man, the orange move." <laughs> You don't want to get hit by the orange move in either you game, don't want I to get promise. Hit by the orange one. Well, uh, I don't have too much to say. We will be taking a break next week, but please uh, keep an eye out. Follow us on at Agus Esports GG on Twitter. Uh, you can see it in the link right there with our top eight results because uh, we should be coming at you with some good announcements. Uh, no April Fool's jokes, I promise. Maybe some April Fool's jokes, but I mean, after April for April first, great announcements. No, nothing but uh, positivity coming from there. Well, and with that, I think we will bring to a close Agus Esports Weekly number 22, top two of Jack and Mike Saftic. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, I've been C Fresh. I'm MTCC. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Peace out.